Okay. Can you guys hear me now? Sorry guys, I had to fix I had to fix my mic wasn't working right. Can you hear me now? Ah! Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Nice. Okay. Hey Gemma. Hey M. Hey Eliza. Hey Megan. <laughs> Sounds good. Hey Myra. I haven't forgot about talking to my connections. People have just been out because of the holidays. No worries, Cedrica at all. Thank you so much. I actually have you written down somewhere. Oh, right there. I have I have three of you written down. Thank you so much for remembering. I appreciate you. Going to bed early. No worries, no worries. Let me go down. Hello, hello. Hey, Becca. Hey, Robin and Ironson and Lorna and Raquel and everyone I didn't get to say hello to on YouTube. Sorry, we were having a little technical difficulties really quick. Hello, Aileen. Hello, Aaliyah. Al right, I think. Finally catching me from the beginning. Woo! Hey, Jess. <gasps> Persevere. Hello with the galaxy. Thank you so much. <laughs> hello, Cassandra. Hello, Dylan. Hello, blogger. Hello, Sophia. Hello, beautiful Barry. Gymnastics was good. Thank you so much for asking. Um, she's working on her back flips, her back flips and her front flips and her aerials and her kips on the bar. How are you doing, Persevere? Hello, Love Society. Hello, Gek. Friends, we are also live on YouTube. So pick your favorites. Pick your favorite place to be and come on over. Hello, Jen. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Practicing doing it on her better couch will help. That's what my son did to get better. Oh, nice. YouTube, are you here? My YouTube chat froze. Or there's just no one talking because there's only 25 people because we just started. That's probably it. I'm eating watermelon. Hello, Lady Raven. Hello. Hello, Chris. <laughs> We're going to be chatting for a little while. Hello, Auntie. Hello. Hello, Usha. I find there's the Uncle Matrix. Oh, TikTok. TikTok subscribers. You should have the Uncle Matrix emote now. Please check and see if you do. I finally had my Reiki this morning. It was so fantastic. I'll definitely be going again. Oh, I'm so glad that you enjoyed it, Becca. Did you feel anything? I'm always interested because everyone feels different things. They either feel something. Some people don't feel anything. Margarita. I thought the problem was the sound on my phone, so I just totally restarted my phone. <laughs> no, it was me. It was me. Hello, how are you? Dylan, you have a story? Okay, good. We have Uncle Matrix. Woo! I'm prepared to be up tonight by actually getting some rare sleep last night. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, girl, hey. Okay, I'm glad you guys have Uncle Matrix now, too. The next emote will be a cat. To unlock it on YouTube, we need, I think it said something like 28 more members. Because it has to be, you have to have like a certain number of current members to unlock the next one. And last time when we ended the YouTube stream, we only needed like eight more. But then a bunch of people dropped off because I guess a, a bunch of people had those gifted memberships that only last a month and then they didn't renew. So now it says I think we need like 28, 28 memberships. This is a lot. But when we get when we hit that next threshold, uh, we'll be able to add a cat emote. One of the cats. I have all five cats done. We'll do a vote to see which cat we should add. Jade, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you so much. Justin's boss has COVID and didn't care to tell him. So guess what? Justin, you have COVID or does Justin have COVID? And now the whole house is going to get COVID. Holy Jesus. Stayed up late for you. It's 1.30 a.m. Oh, my God, Lorna. It's a supernatural one. Dylan, what's the name of it? I'll write it down. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Hey, Shania. Hey, Katie. 
The whole fucking family. Are you got to be kidding me? You just got healthy, girlfriend. I got an Apple gift card for Christmas, so why not? Jay, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Sarah, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Unforgettable. Thank you so much for subscribing. Are you guys subscribing? Or are you being gifted subscriptions? I've only been on for a few minutes, Nikki. Whoever gifts the most memberships picks the cat. Yes, I'll do that, Persevere. If you want to do that, whoever gifts the most memberships on YouTube can pick the next cat. Oh, we're in a sub wave. Sorry, YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. Hold on one second. We're in a sub wave. Woo! Nikki, thank you so much for subscribing. We need two more TikTok subscribers in the next. 13 minutes. Friends who are here, we will be starting to read stories probably in a half hour or so. That'd be fair, right? That piece of watermelon didn't taste so great. I think I'm going to skip this. I think I'm going to skip it. Oh my God, Jess, I am so, so sorry. I am so sorry. I hope you feel better so soon. Usha, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. You've missed the TikTok side of things? I'm gonna be right back, YouTube. I'm so sorry. We're in a sub wave right now. Subway, we need one more subscriber on TikTok to do the sub wave. What's your TikTok? You're, I'm on, you're on it right now, boo-boo. <laughs> it's you're on it right now. <laughs> um okay, join our Discord. Yes. Uh Dylan, you didn't tell me the name of your story. If I had money, I'd sub. No worries at all. No worries. No pressure ever ever ever. I I have a gifted membership now, but I like YouTube more than TikTok, so I canceled my subscription over there, but I can't figure out how to renew with the gifted membership still active. I'm not sure how that works, Erin. Maybe you just have to like wait and then and then buy your own subscription after? I even got an email about how it's ending soon. I should renew now, but it doesn't let me. It just shows me the perks. Very interesting. What happened to Jess? It's not the mimic. Justin's boss had COVID and didn't tell anyone, and he brought it home, and the whole family has COVID. Oh, Katie, thank you so much for subscribing. Woo! We joined us. I mean, we did the sub wave. Thank you so much. To read, please let me know the name of it and I will be happy to write it down. First time here. Welcome, Sin. Welcome. I was wondering how you were getting good watermelon this time of year. I'm in California and I can't. Well, you know what? I got this a few days ago and I think it just started to go bad because I have been eating it and it was fine. My first time joining your live for 2024. Woo, quick star. Aw, thanks, Derek. How to subscribe. You can uh, click on the star down there somewhere, and that is how you subscribe. I think my gifted membership ends in a couple days, so maybe next live I'll be able to renew. Nice, Aaron. Nice. His boss is an asshat. Jess, Chris says, uh, your boss is an asshat. I don't have a story. just want to be a subscriber. I love it, Jade. No worries at all. I just want to ask. We will be collecting stories. So anyone on YouTube or TikTok, if you have a story that you'd like me to share during this live, I'm collecting a list of stories right now um, so that when we start, we'll have a bunch to, to read. Dylan, experiences with spirits. You're revising and sending it now. Experiences with spirits. Okay, got it. You have a story. Callie, what is the name of your story? If you want to send a story in, you can email me at antimatrix at gmail.com. Antimatrix at gmail.com. Also, TikTok, if you're interested, we are also live on YouTube. The stream quality is much better, and you see the stories on the screen. Um, if you're interested in coming over, it's Tessica Vision, same name as here. Hello from England. Hello, Lauren. I've only been on live for a few minutes. Uh, Callie Creepy, Walkie Talkie. Creepy walkie talkie message. Creepy walkie talkie 
message. All right, I got you. You have one, Katie Johnston. What is the name of it? Katie, TikTok. I still need to type mine up. No problem, Lorna, no worries at all. I've been sick since just before Christmas. Finally went to urgent care the other day and I have pneumonia. No wonder I felt so bad. I'm hoping these antibiotics kick in soon. Oh my God, Erin, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better soon as well. Doctor from urgent care thinks it was probably COVID, but I'm well outside of the window to test. Oh my goodness gracious. This subscriber stuff is fun. I know it is fun, right? What kind of stories? We, uh, yours is the nursing home. Let me write that down. The nursing home. So if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jess. People call me Auntie Matrix. And I share people's stories that they send me. And they send me their weird, unexplainable stories like glitches in the Matrix, paranormal stuff, aliens, weird fucking dreams and premonitions and things like that. That's the kind of stories that we share here. Hello, Robin. Hello. Madness, you might think, but I love falling asleep to your glitch stories. Actually, a lot of people say that. You are not alone. It's inverted, JD. I'm right-handed. Thank you, Lauren. Hello, star team. I love you too, Christina. Hi, Stones. How are you? How are my YouTube friends doing over here? You guys doing good over here? One, two, three. One, two, three. If anybody else has stories they want me to share, please tell me the name of your stories. I'm going to write them down. When we start stories in about... 30 minutes or so, um, those will be the first that we read. You're good, Chris. You're good. I'm so glad. Um, TikTok, keep tapping that screen because at every 100,000 likes on TikTok, we play the drawing game on the screen. I listened to your five-minute meditation today for my first time meditating. Oh, my God, another crazy day. Those meditations that I have on YouTube are, like, from a year or two years ago or something like that. When I like started my YouTube, I was doing like some spiritual stuff and I have some like, those are some old things on there, but I'm glad that you liked it. Hello from Romania. Hello, Roxy. Koss and Bailey. Welcome, welcome. Stoned, why would I not want to read yours? Welcome, welcome. Can we voice note stories? I don't know. You mean for me to like play for people to hear? I mean, I would rather I would rather read them. The thing is that like that's like part of the thing here is that I read people's stories. <gasps> Michelle, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the glitch community. Mwah! I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Oh, my email address is antimatrix at gmail.com. It's right here, Dora. Ooh, what was that? What was that noise? Hello, Marie. Welcome. Hello, Alana. Just type it in an email. You can like talk to text and it'll type it for you. Oh, did the little, did my little thing come up? Did the alert come up? I'm live! <laughs> Boji B. <laughs> oh, you saw it after. Okay. No worries at all. How does someone pin something? Um, no, only moderators and me can pin. Can pin. I just joined subscribed, I th think. Uh, where am I? I just feel more comfortable speaking than typing because I don't feel people will know what I'm saying. Hi, hi. Did you get a nose ring to make yourself feel exotic and special? I got a nose ring so that you could come in here and fucking troll me about it. It was just for you. You like it? You love it? You are so early, Corgi. Hello, Shanna. Yes, we are also on YouTube if you are interested. If you are interested yes youtube video quality is much better and audio quality is much better <laughs> i love you too <laughs> i did not get married yet no <laughs> hi um 
I came to watch Bim Bam Gaming and I found you, so I'm being a traitor. What is Bim Bam Gaming? I don't even know what that is. Peach, thank you so much. You love Sassy Auntie? Who loves Sassy Auntie? <laughs> it's called Strange Clairvoyant Experience. Stoned YouTube. Strange Clairvoyant Experience. I've been sucked into gamer TikTok and watching all the 60 second gamers. I have no idea what that is. Get their asses. You, I love Sassy Anti Matrix. Hi, Tiffany. She streams horror games on TikTok and YouTube. Oh, that's cool. Awkward. Is the nose ring new? It looks so natural. I thought you always had it. It's not new. It's not new. I've literally had it for years. For literally like 10 years. Actually, I think more, more than 10 years. Like, I think almost 20 years with a little break. No, not a break. I've had it for like 20 years. <laughs> Hello from Curacao. Oh, I wish I was in Curacao. It's beautiful there. I'm going to start reading stories probably in about 20 minutes or so. Hey, Alley Cakes. All right. Sounds good, Ami. Sounds good. Did mama teach them if they have nothing nice to say? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> exactly, Michelle. Exactly. Friends on TikTok, keep tapping that screen at every 100,000 likes. We will play the drawing game. Hello, Lauren. Hello, gorgeous. We have 56 on YouTube and 256. Oh, that's weird. On TikTok. TikTok friends, I am also streaming live on YouTube right now. If you like YouTube better, the stream quality is better and you can see the stories on the screen, but TikTok has better gifts. Um, so that's up to you. Wherever you'd like to be, but I'm Tessica Vision. Same name is here on YouTube. If you want to come in, hello, Sheen scammed me in my last TikTok. Don't watch it if you're under 18. Okay, bye. I can't call you auntie. I'm pretty sure I'm older than you. It's just a nickname. Doesn't mean I'm tech I'm your auntie. <laughs> I didn't mean it in a rude way. More just responding. Oh, no, I know. No, I know you were. I know you weren't being rude. Can you tell my daughter to leave me alone? She's bothering me because I'm tapping the screen. Tell your daughter to leave you alone? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Hey. I switched from TikTok. Hello, Lauren. Andy! Hello, Tia. Do you prefer YouTube? I don't care. I love them both. I mean, I for stream quality, I prefer YouTube. Yes. Um, <laughs> Lorna, you switched from TikTok to Denise. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. You're watching on both. I love, she said I'm tapping too much. <gasps> Tell her you can never tap too much. You can never tap too much. Oh my God, wait. <gasps> my butt, my tailbone. When I say my butt, I really mean my tailbone. <laughs> Can I call you little, little sister? I mean, I guess. That sounds weird to me. Just call me Jess if you're not going to call me auntie. <laughs> Just call me by my name. Just switch from TikTok. Quality really nice. Yes, Shannon. Yes. I love that you're watching on both. I like TikTok features, but I love seeing the story on the screen. Yes, there's like positives to both. Positives and, positives and negatives to both. My day was busy, Margarita. Let's see what I do today. Woke up, <laughs> obviously. Did my morning routine. Um, took my daughter to school, then came home, did some work stuff, went to the doctor, uh, the lady doc, came back, spent four hours making this week's YouTube video. Um, that's done. Uh, ate lunch, went for a little walk with Uncle Matrix in there, went to my daughter's gymnastics, had some dinner, uh, came back, did a little more work things, and then here I am. It was very busy. The hand motions for the routine, that was amazing, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Mama. I switched, got the popcorn ready for some stories. Nice, Jasmine, nice. Yeah, you're live, I missed you. I went back and watched a bunch of your old lives for an anti-fix. Ah! Law, thank you. Hey, Gemma from TikTok. 
Um, you had to go to the Lady Doc today, too. <laughs> Cross your fingers, Dana. You work for Lady Docs? I'm having to listen on the sly. Okay, Peach, good luck, good luck. Does YouTube pay you? I mean, it pays me for views, yes. Uh, we want to see... Your we went to see our gorgeous grandson this morning. Oh, that's wonderful. Hello, Christy. I just watched it before the live. Great stories this week. Yes. Oh, you just watched it. Yes. Friends, if you are a YouTube member, there's so there are two levels to the YouTube membership. There's like the glitch community, the regular membership where you get the emotes and you get the um the badge and you get the story read and you get the Discord role and all that stuff. And then there's Glitch Community Plus which is like a dollar more. And with that, you all you get all that stuff, plus you get the YouTube videos earlier. So the YouTube video that I just made is gonna be released on Friday. It's the Freaky Friday video, 10 more stories that you haven't heard yet. But um, the Glitch Community Plus members already have it. It's already released to them and it'll be released to the rest of the public on Friday at 5 p.m. So look out for that. Jessica figured out how to sign in on my iPad instead of being under my wife's. Nice, Jess. <laughs> nice, nice. Your hair down in your last video is so pretty. Thank you very much. Hello, Kelly. We're reading stories probably in about 15 or 20 minutes. You made it to a live. Welcome, welcome. Do you share your own personal stories? I don't really have many of my own personal stories. So no. Whoop, whoop. Hey, Jess. Again, I don't know why I just said, hey, like, I haven't already seen you. <laughs> Hello, Tessa. Hello, Evie. You like this? How's this? It's good. You like it? Hello, Powder. How are you? Decided to jump over here instead of TikTok tonight. Nice, Lady Raven. Yes, Chris, thank you so much. TikTok, make sure you are tapping the screen at every 100,000 likes. We play the drawing game. Hey, yellow girl. Hey, Lindsay. Hello, Sebastian. Hello, daughter of Hagrid. And um, YouTube, make sure that you back out and you have liked the live. We have 28 likes, I think, and there are 74 people in there. So make sure you like the live for me. It really, really helps. And everyone share the live if you can. I do have an Instagram. It's the same exact content as um, as the other places, though. But I do have an Instagram, yes. It's Tessica Vision. Same name is here. You like to listen while cross-stitching. Hello, Xiaomi. Can't say your name. Nice, Jade. Yes, I love it, Alana. Do you remember reading an English story about earrings? I sent one and I'm not sure if I've missed it. If I read your story, I would email you. Hello, hello, call me Beth Ann. He's so happy, thank you. You're welcome. I feel like I can fit in here and say I shift realities without getting judged 100%, man. Hi, hi, hi. Well, there's a lot of earring stories. I don't know of her particular earring story. As per usual, I'm on both. Hello, Linda, how are you? The funky chicken. Hi, Auntie Matrix. I used to watch TikTok and it feels weird seeing you from the front. I know, right? I thought I may have had a glitch today. At work, randomly on a desk was a jacket the same as my son's favorite one. It had a secret pocket, which is notice uh, a noticeable pocket on the sleeve, but my five-year-old loves it. Anyway, walked past it six times today. Even checked the size and it's his size too. When I picked him up, he was wearing his jacket, so it wasn't his. I was so creeped out. That's crazy. You sent an email. Um... Hey, real dad. Hello, Allison. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you. <laughs> okay, friends, we're going to collect some more stories. I have one, two, three, four stories right now. Does anyone from YouTube or TikTok have a story that they have sent me that they would like me to potentially read? Please tell me the name of your story in the chat and I will write some stuff down so that when we start in like 15 minutes or so, we have a list of stories. Thank you, Corgi. If you want to send a story in, by the way, you can email me, antimatrix at gmail.com. Wee! How to have the membership plus. Um, click on the membership. I don't know. I don't know if you can switch. When you have the other one, can you switch? Can you upgrade? I don't know how that works. I'm almost done typing. Eep! 
I have something I haven't told anyone by my boyfriend. It's more ghostly. Yes, we love the ghostly ones. Hello, Charlotte. Thank you, Queen. Hello. Are you on Discord too? I'm not streaming on Discord, but we have a Discord. Yes. Our Discord is dsc.gg slash antimatrix. And if you have no idea what I just said, click on the link in my bio TikTok and it'll bring you to all my links, including my Discord link. And um, YouTube, Chris put the link in the chat because she fucking rocks. I'm tapping here. Woo, Linda! <laughs> You're slacking? You're not slacking. You're in here today. You can't put links. You can't put links in here, Jess. I sent you a story labeled Crazy Story. Alexandra TikTok. Crazy Story. Okay. Thank you, Call Me Beth. I got them on Amazon. Boop, boop. Chris is on it tonight. She is on it. You're right. Someone said 148 when for me it's 849. For me it's 849 as well. Not me experiencing a full-on glitch while watching this live. <gasps> what happened? What happened? Tell us all about it. It is safe here, Tessa. This is a safe. Hello, Patricia. This is a safe. Don't worry, I'm just eating um, a, a tortilla. Just a plain tortilla because... I wanted to snack on something and it was going to be watermelon, but then the watermelon was like, Meh. so we're doing this now. Um, yes, this is, is a safe space. If you want to tell a story, but you are scared, just know that we are a non-judgmental, very supportive, loving group here. And we believe you. So send away. Do not be scared. I just fell on a TikTok about three kings. I don't know what that is. Hello, mama. Hello from Arkansas. Hello, Rara. I copied one the link I have on my clipboard. That's really smart. That's really smart, Chris. <laughs> also, my husband isn't gone this time. I feel safe and ready for these stories. Nice. It's 1.51 a.m. in Scotland, Gemma. Yeah, Dana, you got Uncle Matrix. Woo! Hello from Michigan. Hello. I know, Merch just says, we believe you. <laughs> Natalia, I don't have any candy, so I'm snacking on a tortilla. <laughs> sure, daughter, go for it, man. You like pickles and cheese. Interesting. Hello, Andrea. You do, Elizabeth. Nice. It's 2.51 p.m. in New Zealand. Psycho, is it Thursday for you? I'm going to fill up the humidifier so I don't miss the stories. I keep saying I'm going to go to bed early. I'm sure I'll be on until the end of the live. Go to bed if you need to, Erin. Three Kings is basically the Latin version of Christmas. I don't know the exact... You're making me hungry now. <laughs> Has anyone tried the everything bagel tortillas? What? They have those? Wait, what did you say? Cut the tortilla in strips and put in the air fryer instant chips. Oh, you smart, smart person. What time are you reading? I'll be reading in about 10 minutes or so. 8.52 there. Yeah, me too. Eh, Lady Raven. Eh, you don't have to get ready for bed. I never sleep during Tessica Vision's lives. <laughs> Melissa. Oh my God, I was just watching one of your old lives and you were eating a tortilla then. 8.21.23. You said you like to peel them. I do. <laughs> It's lunchtime in Sydney, Australia. <laughs> That's so funny. You may fall asleep. 7.53 there. Tapping and driving. <gasps> Be careful. TikTok, we're almost at 100K. Keep tapping. We can play the drawing game. We'll play that drawing game. Thank you so much, Mama T. 
I appreciate you. Ooh. Jess, I don't know how you're on this live right now. Don't you feel like Garbo? <laughs> I had a shit day. Let's have a good evening together. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, Paris. Ooh. Paris, let's write it down. It's called Sleep Paralysis or Alien Abduction. All right. All right. Does anyone else have any stories they want me to write down to uh, start reading when we start reading in a few? Bye, Peach. I love you so much. Have a great night. <laughs> I've been going and going all day, too. I have a bunch of deadlines to meet. What, like cards? You have to make cards? Yes, I'm eating a tortilla, blood. 1.54 a.m. in the UK. 6.54. Oh, 6.54. That's nice. Go grab some snacks, Gemma. Do it. Do it. Cars, birthdays. Birthdays? What birthdays? Just I don't know if I ever actually want to hang out with you. I might get sick. <laughs> I feel like you're always sick, you poor fucking thing. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of stories. Some of them are going to be short, but if I can find them all into one, it's going to be really long. Which would you prefer, a whole bunch of shorter ones or a really long one? A really long one. We would love a really, we love the long ones. My sister, I have to get a huge craft package put together. Oh, man. It's me that will get sick. Oh. Looking at all the time differences is kind of cool. It is, right? To see, like, how many people from, like, all over the world are hanging out. Like, we're all together. So many people in all different states and different countries around the world. Like, we're all hanging out together. How fucking cool is that when you think about it? Like, that's really fucking cool. Hi, Demetrix. Hello, Victoria. <laughs> Glad to see you, too. Yes, Lady Raven, we do. No, the book's not coming out until fall of this year. The book is coming along great. Yes, Jade, you can. You can just let me know at a later time. Hey, I have a story. I subscribed. I didn't get to read my story. Here's my story. Buttered crumpets. You're tripping right now. Why are you tripping? Don't trip. Don't fall down. I have a box of granola bars. I put a soft baked bar. Yay, the book. We could, Dana. We could have our doppelgangers watching. I've been using castor oil for about two months now. Thanks to you, Auntie Matrix. I'm seeing a difference a lot now. Yes, Nat Natalie. What are you seeing a difference with? What are you using it for specifically? We love the long ones for sure. I'll write my long one for next time if it's long. Hey, we love it. Bring it over. Yeah, Alice. Woo! First time in 2024. This is only the second stream of 2024. Hello, Nicole. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh, so the book is going great. Um, she actually just sent me, the publisher actually just sent me like a rough, like a first draft kind of of the whole book, like designed and set up um, that I have to just kind of like look at. And also sent me all these questions because apparently they're going to be having a meeting, um, I think maybe next week or something, about publicity and asked me all these questions. And some of them are very exciting questions that she asked me. So I'm very excited, getting very excited, getting very excited. I want a signed copy of the book. I asked about signed copies of the book. And apparently what I would probably have to do to do signed copies is I would have to purchase some books myself with my author discount and then I would be able to sign them and then I would sell them to you. So I will figure out a way to do that because I know some people do want a signed copy. Jen, hello my darling love, how are you? If I'm glitching out on you, I'm sorry, my connection is great, it's not me, but you can always come over to YouTube. Mm. 
I do the belly button and the eyelashes. The lashes are so long now. Also, my cramps this month don't hurt. First time in 20 years. <gasps> Natalie, that makes me so happy. I'm so glad the castor oil is working for you, man. So glad. If anyone is screen recording, that will make the live glitch. Really? I didn't know that. Mm -mm -mm. I have a friend ish that published a book and was able to sign them and send them out. I can ask. Thanks, Dana. Do that would be great. Thank you for subscribing, Alessandra. That sounds nice. I need to get on the castor oil train. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. TikTok. I'm going to give you a minute before I start reading stories because we're at 92K. And if you get 100K, we'll play the drawing game before we read. Sebastian's a very smart five-year-old. That is amazing. I'm so proud of you, Sebastian. I sent a story. Okay, let me write you down. Klobo. Blue Bell Woods. Clo. Lobo, Blue Bell Woods. Hey, Sue Annie. Who knew it would work for me than more than an oral laxative? <laughs> it worked for so many things. Thank you so much, Dina. I can't stop thinking about the everything bagel tortilla. That sounds amazing, right? Thank you, Alana. Hello, Oakley. No worries at all, Chloe. No worries at all, Clobo. Um, the casserole that Natalie is talking about, I don't know if she got it through me, but I have it on uh, on my TikTok shop um, showcase. Like if you click on the TikTok shop in my profile, it's in there. Or you can just get it. You can get it somewhere else. Just letting you know. Oh, my God. I have to turn my sound down on my phone. Holy shit. Oh, so loud. Turn that down. You have not. We're about to start in a minute, Victoria. Your story sent, Dylan? You got mine on Amazon. Which one did you get, Natalie? Put the brand for them so they can, like, since yours is working good. 100K! Woo woo! Hey, JJ. Oh my God. All right, JJ. I'm writing you down, too. Groped by a ghost. This is perfect. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight stories to start with. Okay, my friends. YouTube, I love you so much. I'm going to give you an ad. Thank you so much for being amazing. Tell me what you get for an ad. TikTok, we are going to play the drawing game. We play the drawing game at every 100,000 likes. And as soon as we're done playing the drawing game, we are going to read stories. Whee! So here we go. You guys ready? That does sound terrifying, Aaron, right? It sounds really terrifying. Okay. Um, here we go. Circle K. You got no ad? That's awesome. Draw and guess. Here we go. All right. Mm. Oh, you know what? Wait, I don't like that. Oh, somebody got it. Somebody got it. Somebody got it. Two people got it. Seven people got it. Eight people got it. Nine people got it. Eleven. Twelve. Fifteen. Woo! All right, we are going to reveal because we have 33 people who got it. It was ant. The word was ant. Uh, Fern Anando. Fernando. <laughs> Was in first place, got it first at 18 seconds. Sarah, second place at 22 seconds. And Alyssa with a little rose, third place at 23 seconds. Okay. Oh, God. This is going to be hard. Are you guys ready? This is going to be a hard one. Okay. We're going to try. Hmm. Anti Matrix, Ashley. Ha ha ha. Okay. Hmm. Let's see.
Um, oh my god, you guys, people got it? I wasn't even done. What? You guys always surprise me. I don't understand how you get these sometimes. I don't understand. YouTube, I'll be right with you. We're just playing the drawing game on TikTok because we hit 100K and then we're going to start stories. Oh my god, I can't believe you guys got it. Okay, we are revealing the word was apartment. Jessica got it first at 21 seconds, then Dana Do at 21. Oh, Jessica and Dana Do were tied for first at 21 seconds. Allie Cakes, second place at 22 seconds. And uh, Samaya Muhammad and it's Tessa 21 tied for third place at 23 seconds. Okay. Uh, last one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's it. That's all you get. Oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Woo, 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 woo. Yes, friends. Yes, friends. I just put the 90 degrees for fun. It's not actually the right angle. We got it. The word was angle. Simone and Dana Do tied for first at 10 seconds. Kimberly Smith and Ra 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 14 and Ashley tied for second with 11 seconds. And Nikki Gosnell and Big Nerdy Papa John tied for third at 12 seconds. Thank you so much for playing TikTok. At every 100,000 likes, we play this game. So make sure you are still tapping that screen. And also uh, share the live if you can. YouTube, let me see real quick. What did you get when you got your ads? We got, hmm, what do we get? Circle K, Greco. What is Greco? Loop earplugs. Oh, I've seen those. I keep seeing those and I want to try them. Uh, hey Blue, TikTok and Timu, Pokemon Go, Domino's, Delivero, Kroger. You guys got some cool ads. Um, I've never been a part of a live. Hi, Carla. You have not missed anything, Jenny. We are going to read stories in just a second. It's like when I went through cleaning. Oh, okay, you're reading, reading, reading. Late and only on YouTube tonight because I'm putting together a big plant stand. Hello, Hannah. Oh, a plant stand. <gasps> Hannah, where'd your membership go, girl? Cheyenne, thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you so much. Welcome to the Glitch community. Hello, Niz. Hello, hello. Um... Lauren, the person, the castor oil that they bought was, hold on one second. She said, I got mine on Amazon. It's plant life, uh, plant of life, organic, cold pressed, hexadecimal free, 100% natural in a glass bottle. It's plant of life. Plant of life was the brand and she got it on Amazon. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, let me, okay, let me write this one down, Gemma, and then we're going to do the little intro and we're going to start reading stories. It's called The Strange Woman at the End of My Bed. Ooh. The Strange Woman at the End of My Bed. Okay. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Jess. People call me Auntie Matrix, and I read your weird, unexplainable stories about things like glitches in the Matrix, aliens, dreams, the paranormal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they are all stories sent in by you guys, by fans and followers. They are true personal stories. Um, our motto here is we believe you. So please do not be scared to share your story. If you would like to share your story, you can send it to antimatrix at gmail.com. Um, if you send it to me, we will try to read it on live. Also, I may make a video of it either on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Everything is everywhere. I have all those things. Please make sure you are following me on TikTok. Please make sure you are subscribed on YouTube. Um, TikTok, I am also live on YouTube right now. If you prefer that, uh, YouTube, the stream quality, the audio, and the, uh, Video quality are way better, and you can see the stories on the screen. TikTok does have better gifts and some other features that you might like. So, but if you want to come over, I'm Tessica Vision on TikTok. I'm sorry, Tessica Vision on YouTube. Same name as on TikTok. Thank you so much. Call me Beth. That was a really cute snowman. Um, 
If you don't wanna watch on YouTube, I suggest you at least subscribe because I do post videos with new stories on there every Friday. And also, uh, if you miss anything on this live, uh, I do post the recording of the live on YouTube the following day. So you will be able to rewatch or anything that you missed or whatever. I don't know why I can't say stuff right today, but you get what I mean. Subscribe to YouTube Tesco Vision. Okay. Um, also, if you want to become a subscriber, a TikTok Live subscriber, or a YouTube member, TikTok, you can click on that little star down there that says subscribe. YouTube, you can go to the link that Chris is going to put in the chat for me to become a member. Um, subscribers, TikTok Live subscribers, and YouTube members get a badge next to your name. You get a bunch of emotes, a lot of my face doing funny things, now one of Uncle Matrix. Um, you get your story read during live. If you have one, you don't have to have a story. You get a special role in Discord and all of those fun things. And YouTube members, there are two tiers of membership and the higher tier, the Glitch Community Plus tier, you get all that stuff plus you get early access to the videos that are released. So I have a video that's coming out on Friday for everybody, but the Glitch Community Plus members already got it today. Um, yes, there's an Uncle Matrix emoji now. Guys, put the Uncle Matrix emoji in the chat, TikTok, to show people. The next coming up is going to be the cats. Uh, so look out for those. Hello, Evie. <laughs> he does. There he is right here. Here's the Uncle Matrix emote. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Um, yes. Hey, Mojo. Mojo. Your membership is gone, too. I feel like a lot of people's memberships fell off. What else? What else? What else? Yes, so if you want to send a story, anti-matrix, blah, blah, blah. oh, the Discord, please join us in Discord if you're not already. We have over 1,500 people in our Discord. Um, it is dsc.gg slash anti-matrix. Chris will put it in the chat, I'm sure, because she rocks. TikTok, you can click on the link in my bio, and all of my links are there, including the one to the Discord. Um, you can hang out with like-minded people, and also it's a good place to be because I have an announcements channel where I announce when I'm going live, when I post a YouTube video, when I drop new merch, and all of that kind of stuff. If you want to be in the loop, it's a good place to be. And I'll at everybody so you'll get a notification on your phone. So make sure you are in the Discord. If you are a TikTok Live subscriber or a YouTube member and you're in the Discord, make sure that you ask me to give you your special role. You can at me in Discord and be like, hey, can I have my role? Thank you for subscribing, Kelly and LL. Woo! Appreciate you so much. Thank you, Jess. Oh, Jess is on it too. This is the Discord link if you want to type it in. Hello, Jade. First time on YouTube. Nice. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Uh, what else? What else? What else? I have a P.O. box in my bio as well in case you want to send me anything. Oh, my God. Wait. Is Shayna here? Is Not Shayna. Is Sasha here? I got a gift from Sasha from my Amazon wish list. And I want to say thank you, but I want to say thank you on live if they're here. Sasha. So let me know if you're here, Sasha. Um... This is the first time I've been on a live, but I feel like I already know all of you all of you after binging all your recordings. Oh my God, Shan, that is so funny. Yes, I do have merch. Oh, you're reminding me. <laughs> yes, merch. Uh, I also have merch. Please check out my merch. Click on the link in my bio. You can go to tescavision.com um, to find my merch. It's actually right there. Chris just put the merch link in there. <laughs> I have six different designs. Check out my merch. There's so many things. I need like to have a list in front of me so I don't forget because I get like bleh, scatterbrained sometimes and I forget. And I only have one account, TikTok, this one. So if anyone ever DMs you from a name that looks like me with my picture and they're, they DM you and they're like, ooh, I have a message for you. The spirits told me to reach out to you. It's not me. I will never, ever, ever DM you and try to scam you out of anything. So tell them to fuck off. I will never DM you. Okay. I love you. Holy smokes. Blah! We are starting actually right now. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stories. A couple of other people just said they have stories. Um, that happened to you yesterday? Yesterday, last night, I sat down and I actually reported like six more accounts. So I'm hoping that TikTok takes them down, including I reported again that pretty Pash 3 account because they haven't been taken down yet and they are the worst right now. Okay. You guys sent, let me write down some more stories and then we're going to, just because I see more in here. Jenny, what's the name of your story? Um, Mojo, what's the name of your story? 
And Dora, what's the name of your story? Hannah, did you just resubscribe? My childhood home. Good Samaritan. <laughs> Cheyenne. <laughs> oh, you switched to your sub account. Okay, okay, okay. Where's Jenny? Jenny, what was the name of your story? Playful Shadow People. Okay. This is great. We have so many stories to read now. I think I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 12 to start with. So let's start with these 12 and see where we are. Um, I'm going to start with these 12 stories that I already have written down. And then uh, we'll see what time it is by the time we read all of those and if we can pick some more. We normally do get to pick a few more. Reported a bunch of accounts. Thank you. Do you think TikTok doesn't release your videos because of the reporting of the other accounts? No, because it was happening before I was reporting the other accounts. I want to make something for you and send it yarn. Oh, do you like blankets or shawls or scarves? Blankets. I love blankets. <gasps> that would be so cool, Hannah. Thank you. I thought for a second you were the plain lady with your hair like this. <laughs> I'm not the plain lady. I'm not the plain lady. Okay. Are we ready? The first one is Dylan. Dylan, are you still here? Yes, you are here on YouTube. Yeah, purple sounds great, Hannah. Ooh, thank you. I love getting presents. It's so fun. <laughs> thank you for subscribing, Cass. I love my little friggin' things. Tight knit or chunky? Oh my God, surprise me. Surprise me. You make beaded earrings? Oh, those sound pretty. I would, if you want to, you can. I'll just let you know that I literally wear the same jewelry every single day forever. I've worn these for like three years and I probably will continue to wear them for three years just because I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> and it will be nothing against your jewelry. Um. Okay, let's find this first story. It is going to be experiences with spirits. Experiences with spirits. Where are you? Oh, it's right here. Oh, Dylan. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Can you just send it in a regular email next time? You're always sending me these iCloud things, and I, it's so hard for me. I have to like figure out how to log in over here. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, God. Don't even tell me that I don't know my password. Hope this works. This better work. Hold on there. 629965. Hey, Crystal. I don't have an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone. You could just email me, like regular email. No one else does this. <laughs> Trust. Let's see. I'm trying to find it. Hold on. We're trying to get it. Accept invitation. How am I even going to do this? Hold on. Uh, okay. Okay, we're going to try this. No, Persevere, what I just said was one of those codes. You know, like they send you a temporary code. It wasn't anything for me. It, it's not my, that's not my password. <laughs> I know I need a podcast. It's on my list. It's on my list. I need time for a podcast. Okay. Oh, you know. I mean, it, but it expires, though. That's just like a temporary thing. I thought it was okay. Persevere. <laughs> All right. Experiences with spirits. We are starting at... What time is it? 54.18. Okay. Hi, Auntie Matrix. Hi. When I started watching your videos, I was reminded of these little experiences that I had when I lived in my first house. Now, since then, I have moved two times, one when my parents divorced and another when my dad remarried and my mom found someone to live with and is now engaged. 
This is actually about that, although I'd love to share some stories for my first house, this specific story remains one of the weirdest experiences I had in the first house I lived in. First, a little backstory. I used to have a ghost friend who I would talk to and see in my head a fox or a little boy who would talk to me. Let's call him Sam. But he was a fox or he was a little boy. Um, I never learned his real name because he said if I were to learn his real name, he would never be able to talk to me anymore. That's interesting. Anyway, after I got up and had gone to the bathroom, I was washing my hands when all of a sudden I heard one of my Lego buildings break. No one was in my room at the time, not even my cat, and it didn't just fall. It exploded. Now, when I was picking up the pieces, all of them had completely multiplied, and some of them were even real Legos. We've been using these, uh, been using those dos up until this point. So when I saw this happen, I was freaked out. Now, after that point, I couldn't really speak to Sam again, which meant that maybe he had moved on or maybe he had gone to his next life. Now, since I was outside of my own room, there was no way I could have done this. Maybe it might have been him. Once again, I really love your videos. Keep finding stories and make sure to be yourself, Dylan. P.S. I was seven at the time. It's been 10 years since this happened, and I wrote this near Christmas time. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you, too. Thank you so much for sharing. That's very interesting. First of all, was it a fox or a boy? You can't know its name? Demon. Someone said, if you can't know its name, it's a demon. <gasps> but it went away, at least. Um, Was it a fox or a boy? Did it look like a fox or a boy? <laughs> Eek. Eek. I thought demon, too. If you know their name, they lose their power. I had no idea about that, Cheyenne, because they didn't say that in Supernatural. <laughs> that didn't happen in Supernatural. So, of course, it can't be real. Timeline twins. <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hi, Avery. My day is going really well. Thank you. Is that why Yellow Eyes didn't want his name out? I don't know. But they didn't tell us. I wish I knew how to knit. If you know your name, you can banish them. The Pope's exorcist is where I learned that? What do you mean? When were you hanging out with the Pope's exorcist? It would either be a fox or a boy. Oh, like it went back and forth. That was interesting. Sometimes it would be a fox and other times it wouldn't. Oh... I love that. I can't believe your Legos like literally exploded and freaking uh, multiplied. It did happen in Supernatural. They vanquished demons by yelling their names and shooting them with their special bullets. They didn't yell their names. When did that ever happen? When did that happen? Ed and Lorraine taught me the name thing. All of my knowledge is also from Supernatural or Charmed. <laughs> no, they never did that. They used the special season one. They have the special bullets, but they don't say their names. They have the cult. Let me know, because I'm also re-watching in season one in their timeline. Okay, hold on one second. We are going to vote. Did you like that story? Oops, I can never spell that correctly. Did you like that story? YouTube, yes or no? TikTok, happy face or sad face? Did we like that story? And while we are doing that... Kali, are you on TikTok, Kali? Kali? K-A-L-I. For creepy walkie-talkie story. I want to make sure that you're still here. Yeah, they never yell their names in Supernatural. Here. Okay, cool. I'm going to pull that up while you guys are voting. Creepy walkie-talkie All right, let me get rid of this. Two foxes and a boy. Um, Red on live. Creepy walkie talkie message, not story, I'm so silly. 
creepy walkie-talkie message. This is a short little ditty. Okay. Are we done voting over here? Oh, it was Kitsune, a fox demon. It's Japanese. <gasps> Interesting, Persevere said. Did you hear that, Dylan? K-I-T-S-U-N-E. I want to say that I don't think it was a demon because it would protect me. Oh. Hi, Skylar. Welcome, welcome. Feel free. You can send me whatever you like. Stories to antimatrix at gmail.com. It's right. It's right here. They talk about Kitsune and Teen Wolf. I'm back. How many stories? We only read one story. We're on the number. We're on the second story, Ami. Demons are deceitful. I don't think a demon has to be evil. Hello, Regina. Regina. It was Kar Kurama. Hi, Charlie P. TikTok, we're also live on YouTube if you want to switch over there. If you prefer that, it's Tessica Vision. Same name as here. Demons can protect you. Kitsune are trickster demons. Interesting. Okay, we're doing creepy walkie-talkie message. Here we go. We're starting this at 101.18. Okay. Hello, Auntie. Hi. I recently sent a story regarding my paranormal dreams and have been thinking about which stories to send next when something very recent happened to me. For Christmas this year, 2023, my fiance and I got our boys some walkie-talkies and finally had enough batteries to power both and have playtime. They are simple children's products and only have four different channels, and I put them both to one to make a quick setup. My children are two and seven, both boys with unique one-of-a-kind names. My oldest is Itachi, a Japanese name. That's actually a really cool name. Cannot be mistaken for anything else. While I was testing the walkie-talkies, I had my oldest say hello, hello to see if I could hear from the other device. We both heard someone say, it's Hachi, is that you? In a child's voice. And I got chills. I tried to talk back and nothing and have never come across anyone else since. Maybe another universe where he gave his usual channel to the neighbors. I don't know. Oh my God, that's the end of the story. But why did that freak me out so bad? <gasps> Nope. Yep. We got a lot of, we got a lot of shirtles and nopes over there. Nope. 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 What? Oh my God. I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that at all. I was going to say, okay, what is going to happen? Right? Because like walkie talkies can easily have interference with other devices. Right. And you can like hear other people through, but if someone specifically said, your son's name, that's a very unique name, knew it was him and asked, is that you? And it was a kid's voice, like, Bleh! I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I would have thrown that thing so damn fast. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello, lovely. Oh, Persevere said, eh, just a parallel universe. Probably just a, probably just a bleed over from a parallel universe. I freaked out. Okay. Ah! You can email stories to antimatrix at gmail.com. Um, okay. We are going to vote. Did we like that story? Did you like that story? Yes or no, YouTube, TikTok, happy face or sad face. Did you like that story? TikTok, please keep tapping the screen to send those likes. It's free. It's helpful for me and it's helpful for you because at every 100,000 likes, we play the drawing game. So make sure you're keeping tapping the screen and sharing the live. YouTube, make sure you have liked the live for me, please. You might have to back out of the thing to like the live and share it if you can. It's very helpful for me. Thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> um, Okay, um, read this one on live. Our next story is Katie, K-A-D-I-E from TikTok, the nursing home. Katie, are you still here? Before I pick up your story here and start to read it. The nursing home. La-da-da. There you are. All right. 
the nursing home. Let me find it. Gotcha. Found ya. Can I just say, this is much easier when people are naming them. Do you remember my OGs who have been here like since the beginning? Do you guys remember how people were sending their email addresses and like, first, it was like such a process. First, we would like pick people who put emojis in the chat, right? And then I would like pick random people and then we'd have to wait for them to say their email addresses. And then I would have to try to find the emails in the email. It was like a whole fucking thing. It was like a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> it was so much. And then who was it? Was it Chris? Chris, was it you that had that idea? Whoever had the idea that was that was like, you know what, instead of having them throw their favorite emoji in the chat, why don't you have them just put their email address or the name of their story? And I'm like, that's a great idea. Great fucking idea. You do remember. This wave is better, right? Remember Tony? Of course I remember. Put whatever the heck you want. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let me shut this off here. The poll. Do you remember? 21st night. Technically Justin's idea, but I stole it. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it was you. <laughs> I remember you took credit for his idea. <laughs> okay. Slamming into my mic. Good night, Dylan. It was chaos, Amber. It was chaos. I'm new to lives, but I hope that I will be remember <laughs> able in some day. Oh, I hope you remember one day too. What did Tony even say? I don't remember what Tony said. I think he basically told me to shut the fuck up with my singing or something. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, we are doing the nursing home. Here we go, friends. Story number three. Uh, we're starting at 1.07.23. Here we go. Hi, Auntie. Hi. Every time I think I have sent you all my experiences, some of your videos remind me of more. I was a CNA for a few years in a nursing home. I'm sorry. Bloop. Oh, that was right. It just doesn't say home. I just put the home there. I was a CNA for a few years in a nursing, but in the early 80s. And I have a few stories of crazy things that happened there. This may get a bit long. We love the long ones. The first one is kind of scary and still gives me chills today. We had a lady come in whose daughter had been giving her care at home, but could no longer provide the level that she needed. We noticed that the daughter would come in every day and read the Bible to her for hours and tell her mom to pray with her. The mother would say it's too late for that, that she has made peace with where she was going and that she did it to herself. Talking to the daughter one day, another aide asked why she reads the Bible to her so much and the daughter replied, my mother made a horrible mistake when she was younger and I just want her to have a chance to go to heaven. About six weeks after she came, the lady passed away, and after the family said their goodbyes, we went in to prepare her for the funeral home. The room was super cold, and the vibes were off more than usual after a death. When we were done, my coworker looked over at the window. Her eyes got wide, and I turned to look. There was a huge, dark shadow coming up from the window onto the ceiling that slowly creeped over the wall the lady was close to. At that point, the bed jiggled and the shadow retreated back out of the window. We left that room so fast and I refused to go in there for months after that. Oh my God. Ah! Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, hold on. The second story is more funny. We had a unit for people with bad Alzheimer's that wouldn't be safe in the regular parts of a nursing home. At the end of the hall was an old man and across a woman. The woman hated the man, could not stand him. And the man, a silly guy, just loved to mess with her. And his favorite thing was to go pee in her toilet in the middle of the night. Well, he passed out of the blue one day, took us all by shock. And I think 
him as well because a few weeks later we were sitting down when we heard a noise. I get up to go look down the hall to see the silly old man walking across the hall to go to the restroom. Not really computing what is happening, I start making my way down the hall to remove him from the room to get halfway there and remember that he passed away. After the shock wore off, all I could do was laugh at the fact, even in death, he was still making it his mission to mess with the old lady. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Hold on. <laughs> My last story is in the unit as well. My name is Katie and my coworker's name is Heidi. I'm saying that right, right, Heidi? At one point I was walking down the hall when in my ear I hear Katie, Katie in a loud whisper. Okay, so like Katie, Katie, like that maybe I guess. I go back to where Heidi is and I asked her if she said my name and she said no. Keep in mind the people on the unit I'm working can hardly remember their names, much less mine, so I know it wasn't them. At the point we go, uh, at one point we go in to assist one of the residents and Heidi steps out to grab something. She comes back a minute later and asks, did you say my name? I tell her no. And she says, well, I swear someone just whispered my name in my ear. I wouldn't let her leave my side for the rest of the night. This is all I remember for now. I'm sure I'll remember more after watching some of your videos. I love your videos so much. Thank you for being our anti-matrix. Lots of love and happy new year, Katie Johnson. Thank you. I love you so much. Oh my God, the end. Okay, first one was scary. But hold on, because you said you saw this huge dark shadow coming to the lady and then the bed shook and then the shadow retreated. So does that mean that the shadow didn't get her? Do you think the shadow was like a demon or something like taking her to hell? And then someone was like, no, you can't take her. And then I don't know. What do you guys think happened there? Like, what do you think happened there? <laughs> Linda, I love that. I just uploaded a picture in Discord of an anti-matrix logo I drew. Oh my god, I have to see it, Katie. I'll see it in one second. Do you think it took her soul? I think something came to take her but then didn't take her. Right? Because the the shadow could have been death to take her soul with them. But if the bed shook, Oh, so maybe it wasn't the bed shook. I took it as the bed shook and it like scared this thing away, right? This thing left. But maybe they meant the bed shook because it took the spirit away. I think the spirit accepted that she'd done so the negative energy couldn't do anything. Maybe it couldn't take her. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. You think it was a spirit guy coming to collect her? You think she was in purgatory? Hmm. Okay. Hold on. Let's vote. Did we like those story? Oh, wait. Hold on. We're not done. Hold on. We're not done. Because then this old man <laughs> still going across the hall to pee to make this old lady mad even when he's dead. That was hilarious. But also, I really hope that he realized that he was dead and he needed to go. I hope he wasn't like stuck there because he died so suddenly and he he like stuck there. That was the toilet one was so funny. It was so funny. And the whispering one, mm, I don't like that. I was waiting for her to say they were married. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Let us vote. Did you like those stories? YouTube, yes or no? TikTok, happy face or sad face? TikTok, we're getting so close to 200K. At 200K, we will play the drawing game again. So keep tapping that screen, please, and sending those likes. The old man thing is so mean. These were really good. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, on YouTube, did I put the story on the screen that time? Did I forget to put the story on the screen, or did I already switch back? That's ghost goals. <laughs> I did. Okay. <laughs> I went to go take it off and I was like, did I fuck up? Did I fuck up? Stoned, are you still here on YouTube for strange clairvoyant experience? You're up next. Stoned. Come. Oh, shit. I almost dropped my drink. <laughs> Since doing these stories, have you found yourself experiencing weird things more? No, not really. I keep myself very protected. 
What's my favorite animal? A cat, I guess. I also love giraffes. I love a lot of animals. Okay. Good night, Evie. There's a shift and there will be more ghostly experiences from today onwards, 10 to the 11, to the 12. Same. I felt like 10 ghosts touching my bed for, oh my God. Blech. Um, you're behind on the live. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me put this here. Um, right on the live. <laughs> Even in death. So good. The fucking old man. I can't with the old man. I really liked that one. Um, hold on. I want to check the Discord. What do we get here? What are these pictures of the clouds that you sent? There's like stars in the sky. That's interesting. Hey, I don't see the logo that you drew. YouTube, Roxy Rocks, if you're here, I just gave you your member your uh, your member role. Uh Katie. Katie, where did you where'd you put the picture? The anti matrix logo picture. I don't see it. I don't see the picture. The only thing I see is the pictures of the the sky. That Hannah sent. I don't see it. That's really weird. Does anybody else see it? Guys, they're almost at 200K. Oh my God. Oh my, but I need my donut, I think. <laughs> I need my donut, cause I'm an old lady with a tailbone injury. Ugh. Okay. You don't see it either? We don't see it, Katie. Resend it. We're interested. Okay. Oh, wait. Stoned. Did I, I asked if you were here. Are you still here? Stoned, my darling. Are you here? Because your story is next. Stoned. Where are you? On YouTube. Yeah, we're, we're looking in general. Oh, here it is now. Now I see it. <laughs> oh, look, it's me meditating. <laughs> That's really cute. I do have to say that the bottom of me, <laughs> the way that the bottom is, Katie, reminds me a little bit, like I look like I might be a fancy butt plug. <laughs> Does that make any sense? It is really cute, though. <laughs> it is very cute. But I immediately thought of that because I'm a terrible human. <laughs> I have a funny tailbone story, but it's too long for hearing me email, email it to you. I know I'm in a yoga pose. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I do get it. I know. I'm sorry. I just I thought of it. <laughs> You're way better than me. I couldn't even draw that, friends. It's my donut. Someone said it's my donut. No, I, I understand what it is. I was just, I just, I have, my mind is terribly in the gutter. But it is really cute. I love it. Thank you. It is so cute. Oh, giraffes. <gasps> Persevere. Guys, we're in the Discord looking at pictures. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. We're going to read the next story in one second. I'm just trying to also see... If, um, oh my God, those giraffes are amazing. Thank you for subscribing, movie emperor. <laughs> Guys, is stoned not here? Should we skip their story? We'll go to the next one. Because stoned is not here. All right, uh, Alexandra from TikTok, are you still here with Crazy Story? Let me see if I could find it, by the way. Oh, it is. It's right here. Got to go. It's dark. <laughs> okay, bye. Here. Okay, perfect. No, Katie, I'm really sorry if I insulted you. I'm, I'm, I apologize. I didn't 
me to insult you. It just made me laugh because my brain is terrible. It is really cute. I really like it. I do really like it. <laughs> okay, crazy story. Alexandra. It is beautiful. It is. I'm sorry. I like your voice. Do you read audiobooks too? I do not. I would be open to that if I had time. Been seeing giraffes all day and now you mentioned them too. Something. Does that mean something? Do giraffes, are giraffes something for you? Do they have a meaning for you? <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> okay, good. I love you. Just subscribed. I've been following you on TikTok for about a year, and I love you so much, Andy. Thank you, Olivia. I love you too, friends. Um, oh, I'm gonna throw a really quick ad at you, YouTube. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being for being cool. Um, oh, we have 152 on YouTube. Nice TikTok. We are also live on YouTube. If you like YouTube better, stream quality is much better. Audio, video, all the things. You can get paid. I know you can get paid to read audiobooks. Um. I actually signed up for, uh, there's like a thing, it's like ACX or something like that. Um, I signed up for that and I applied for a couple things and I never got anything and then I just kind of let, let it go because I'm too busy. Um, but I'd be happy if it paid, if it paid enough, if it paid enough to make it worthwhile for me because I have a lot of things going on. Stars, you got a stars ad? Converse and Timu. <laughs> Hannah, I did not say that. <laughs> That's funny. See you going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. I couldn't get YouTube to clear up for you. What happens? That's weird. I have no idea if people should call me Iris. <laughs> you didn't get an ad? Muffin tin meal ad? You're welcome, Roxy. You're welcome. No ad, no ad, no ad. Nice. TikTok, keep tapping that screen. Listen, I'm going to read this story right now. And I want, by the time we're done reading the story and talking about it, I want us at 200K so we can play the drawing game. Okay. That's awesome for you, Erin. We are reading Crazy Story. And we are starting it at 122.42. Okay. When I was a senior in high school, me and my ex loved going to crazy places like haunted places or places that we heard strange stories about. One time we went out and I had to take my brothers with us and he took his brother and his brother's girlfriend. It was very late and we went to this place called Crybaby Bridge in New Hope, Pennsylvania. The story is that a mom was having postpartum depression and killed her baby and herself. And when you go there late at night, you can hear a baby crying. So my ex's little brother played a prank on me and acted like the car shut off and it started rolling by itself, which didn't happen. We threw the car in neutral. So after all this, my mom was blowing me up and my ex about having to get home with my brother's ASAP. So we started yelling for the boys. We went looking for them, couldn't find them. We were all panicking. After 30 minutes looking for them, yelling for them, they came up from the water and said we were going to get them so we could leave. We were all like screaming their names and went down and looked for them and they said they never heard us or saw us come down. We didn't get home until 12.30 a.m. with my brothers, got grounded, never went back to the bridge after that night and my brothers still say we never looked for them and never took them anywhere ever again. That had zero punctuation. <laughs> so I hope it made sense the way I read it because there were literally no punctuations at all. Did you understand it? Because I didn't understand it that much. Hold on one second. You went to Crybaby Bridge. You like to go to haunted places. We went to Crybaby Bridge. The story of Crybaby Bridge is the mom and, and the things. Okay. Oh my God, Jasmine just said that's where I'm from and that bridge is so haunted. I have so many stories. <gasps> Jasmine, that's amazing. Didn't get it, didn't get it. Okay, 
Um, went to Crybaby Bridge. Mm, my ex's little brother played a prank on me and acted like the car shut off and it started rolling by itself, which didn't happen. We threw the car in neutral. After all this, my mom was saying, hey, we have to get home. You couldn't find them and they were in the water. But they said they never went to look for you. Right? I think I got it. I'm a little bit confused. I'm so, I, I'm, I apologize. Um, 200K. Look, see, you guys can do it when you try. Why are we not in a million then? <laughs> Why are we not in a million? What state is Crybaby Bridge on? Uh, Crybaby Bridge, New Hope, Pennsylvania. Apparently that is a real bridge. I guess the kids got out of the car and went down to the water and then they couldn't find them when they had to leave. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> Penny. <laughs> Your thumb is cramped up because you're always, that's what you were thinking, right? I'm not positive. Okay. Um. So basically the weird thing was that nothing happened with the bridge. Like there was no baby crying. Nothing of that happened. But what happened was that you guys like didn't see each other. Like you were looking for them, but they said they never, you never came looking for them. And it was like a, a thing, I think, right? No, the mom wasn't with them. I think the mom was calling them and texting them. They were looking for the kids, but the kids eventually came up from where they were looking and said, we didn't see you. You weren't, not, you weren't looking for us. Okay. Okay. Why was the mom calling? Probably because it was like time for them to come home. Maybe they had a curfew. That's, that was my assumption that they had a curfew. Boyfriend played a prank with the car. Then you yelled for brothers and they didn't hear you. Then they showed up and you went home. I think that's basically what it is. There's also the haunted high school in Lambertville, New Jersey, across the bridge from New Hope. Not sure how the kids ended up in the water. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. I apologize. Um, I'm sure it wasn't a bad story. It was just maybe written a little confusing, which is why we're having a little bit of trouble following it. Um, did you like that story? We're going to vote on YouTube and TikTok and that's okay. That happens sometimes and that's okay. Yes. Yes. We will play the drawing game before we read the next story. Do not worry, TikTok. Do not worry. Thank you for sharing your story. I'm sorry that we got a little confused about it. Um, okay. Red on live. We'll put you over here. Paris, you're still here on YouTube, Paris. Your story is going to be next after we play the drawing game on TikTok. Yeah, Hazel. Guys, if you want to share your stories and you're asking about it, you can email them to me at antimatrix at gmail.com. Okay, Paris is here. There's a haunted tunnel in Lexington, Virginia that put little girl handprints on your window. Ooh. I don't like it. My cat's favorite cat toy we were just playing with disappeared when I threw it. Like in midair, Brianna? So crazy. How do you do both sides at once? That is some strong brain power. Suani, Sunny, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I just do. I don't know exactly how I do it. I just, I try to go back and forth and answer as many of the comments as I see on both. And I try to make sure I'm paying attention to the goals and the things. Speaking of the goals, persevere. Thank you. We are getting close to hitting this goal. If we send it in today, does it get read? It's not a guarantee. It depends on how much time we have and how many other people have stories. Right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more that I'm going to read. Um, and then we're going to see what time it is after I read those because I like to get off before 12 o'clock. For me, right now it's almost 10 o'clock for me. So we have like two more hours. So after we read these, we'll see how much time we have left and I will pick some more. So it's not a guarantee. If you email them to me, we'll either hopefully maybe read them on live or um, I'll there's a potential for me to make a video of it. Um, I can't guarantee though because I literally have, not joking, 7,000 unread stories and I get to as many as I can in videos and lives and stuff like that. I'm wondering if we sent links to your, wait, what did, Aaron, what happened? You were typing something. Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, oh, oh. 
Where did it go? Where did it go? Hazel. We love Goosebumps. You're not on my list yet, though. Okay. We are going to play the drawing game on TikTok before we read the next story. So, here we go. It is a lot of fucking glitches, I know. It's amazing. It's amazing. Do you ever feel like any of this crosses over to you? What do you mean? If you mean like any of the bad stuff or the energy or of that, I do not. Sometimes I get a little worried, but um, then I just clear my space. I do make sure that I keep my I keep my energy really high. I'm good. You'll see. So the drawing game, if you're new to the drawing game, I'm literally going to be drawing on the screen and you guess in the comments what you think it is. Here we go. We're going to do three rounds. Draw and guess. Oh, this is an easy peasy one. Here we go. Number one, number one. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. We got it. Someone got it the first time. T loves bug. Thank you so much for sending all of the fires. I appreciate you so much and everyone else that's sending them. Yes, everyone got this one. This one was super duper easy. All right, reveal the answer was balloon. Kimberly Smith was in first place at eight seconds. I think that's like a record. Corgi lover and the boss bitch won second place at nine seconds. And then we have Lizzie. Caro, Tabby, Ariel, Ra Ra Ra, uh, Samaya Muhammad, Another Crazy Day, Patricia Oliver, Aub Jones, and It's Tessa, an Anonymous Poet, all in third place at 10 seconds. Holy shit, that was a lot of people at 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. Number two. Number two, number two. Um, oh my God. Why did I do that? Uh, okay. This is a little bit harder. Let's see if you can get it. Hmm. And I'm going to draw something else because you guys aren't understanding what this is. Oh, my God. Somebody got it. Yes. Four people got it. Four people got it. <laughs> Seven people got it. Katie, if you could, if you're over here, you can see how bad my drawing is and how your drawing was 10 times better than my drawing, by the way. Canoe, you guys are just yelling words at YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i love it okay we are going to reveal it was author jess kelly got it got it first at 29 seconds then sheila saint dennis at 31 seconds and lauren 85 at 32 seconds all right one more i feel like this is easy but we'll see last one here we go um. <laughs> you guys are so, oh, oh, we got it. We got it. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Yes, guys. Yes. All right. We got it. We got it. It was bucket. The answer was bucket. Megan Heston got it first at 12 seconds. Wow. Big tie for first. Kimberly Smith, Corgi Lover, Govia0420, Samaya Muhammad, Anonymous Poet, all got second place at 13 seconds. And then M with the bow, Do or Die Designs, Raquel, Christy, Ariel, Ra Ra Ra, Ariel, another Ariel, Esther, Allie Cakes, Michelle, all got third place at 14 seconds. Congratulations. Great job, my friends. We do this at every 100,000 likes TikTok, so make sure that you are tapping the screen. Thank you very much. Okay, I love you. Olivia, 
Thank you so much for sending a super. I appreciate you so much. Mwah. Thank you. It's your first one. Plate and bucket are pretty close if you don't think about it that hard. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, next story. Next story. <sighs> All right. Next story is, let's see, sleep paralysis or alien abduction. YouTube, I'm still trying to think of something fun I can do for you guys. I don't I don't know how to do like a goal for you guys. You know what I mean? Um Aw, thanks, Aris. Allie Cakes! Whoop whoop! Thank you. Um I know, but I want to do something fun for you, but I don't have anything to like, like we could do like goals here. I can't, I don't have any things I can do on YouTube. That is one of the downsides. You're having fun guessing. You have no idea what's going on. Oh, thank you, Jess. New goal. We hit the goal. Uh, thank you so much to Allie Cakes and Peach and Persevere and T Loves Bug, Michelle Rodriguez, Tia's, Fur Mommy, Maggie Meg, Tiffany, Saucy, Sarah, Jade, Mind Your Business, Polar Bear, Al, Alyssa, Kala, Rabid, Jade, Camo Babe, Midnight Mandy, and Exile for contributing to the gift goal. I appreciate you guys so much. Let us uh, put up a new goal. Where is... That little ghost guy. Remember that cute little ghost friend? He was so cute. <gasps> Wait, it's the lemon buddy. We have to do the lemon buddy. All right, next goal is lemon buddies. We're having fun guessing. <laughs> Mojo, they are pretty funny. Let's hurry to 300K. I want to play again. Do it, guys. You're already almost halfway there. All right. Um... Sleep, let me find this. Sleep paralysis. Huh. Paris. Um. Paris, can you give me the, the first part? Or can you tell me where your email address is so I can find it? Or just like the first part? You don't have to tell me at gmail.com or whatever.com. Just because I have a lot of things with the word sleep paralysis in it. And I don't have anything that's exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Meg. Ah, I love those lemon buddies. They're so cute. Thank you. I cannot find... I don't have anything that exactly says sleep paralysis or alien abduction. Or I I can't find. So if you could give me like the first part of your email address, like everything before at whatever.com. Okay, let me, thank you. Let me check. No. Oh, you know what? Was it sent to the other, this other email? No. I don't have it, my dear. Yeah, I'm looking for that. I don't use the one on the screen. That's not coming up. When did you send it? Maybe I didn't get it yet. Sometimes that happens. When did you send it? Too many cooks, 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 too many cooks. Hello, Joe, Joni. Hello, hello. I keep trying to talk my hubs into helping me steal a giant giraffe statue. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, we hit the lemon buddy goal already. Shut the front door. Shut the front door, Paris. 
I am not seeing it. Can you maybe? Okay, you figured it out. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness to Maggie. Maggie, you sent a lot. Maggie Meg and Kay King and Beth and Lindsay's and Michelle Rodriguez and Alyssa. Thank you guys all so much for contributing to the gift goal. May I suggest galaxies? Sure, we'll try it. We'll try it. <laughs> Jess loves the damn galaxies. <laughs> too many cooks. 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 Too many co Where is, um, where are they? Oh, gal. Oh, they're right at the top here. I'm only going to put. I'm only going to put a few because we're probably not going to get them. Is it possible that you have read it before? That name sounds familiar. <laughs> oh, she wrote she wrote a uh, dot con instead of com. We got it. We got it. I found it. It's right here. OK, awesome. No, she just sent it now. Milky Way there, I sent a galaxy. <laughs> All right. Sleep paralysis or alien abduction. We are starting this one at 140, shit, 4106. Okay, here we go. Handy Matrix, hi. I don't know if the story will be picked, and it's honestly not that long, but it's a moment from my teenage years that still bothers me to this day. I'll be honest, I don't remember much about the day, but that night lives on in my brain. For a little context, my childhood bedroom faced the street, and in the front of our house was a street light. While it didn't keep my room bright, there was always at least a dim light in my room. My bed was on the wall opposite of the one with the window, so while I side sleep facing the wall, I could still see if I woke up in the middle of the night. This night wasn't the case. I woke up this night, I could feel my eyes open, but the rest of my body wouldn't move like I would tell it to. The other problem was that I couldn't see the wall in front of me, but I also had a sense that the wall wasn't as close as it normally was. I tried over and over to move and even scream, but nothing happened. I had heard about sleep paralysis at this point and was a bit nervous about seeing something, so I shut my eyes. I willed myself to go back to sleep, hoping it was all a dream, but I am more than certain that I was awake. The reason I question if it was aliens is because of this next part. While I was trying to wish that I was asleep, I felt my comforter <gasps> being pulled off me very slowly from the foot of my bed. As I feel the blanket get to about my waist, I suddenly am just out again. Like I fell asleep, though I was so scared I have no clue how. The reason I question the... <sighs> I got chills. <laughs> The reason I questioned this too was I wasn't in my bed the way I normally sleep in the morning and the blanket was on the floor on the side of my bed, not the foot, which made no sense to how I was covered. I can still picture the utter blackness of when my eyes opened, even in a completely dark room. I've never felt this same sense of dark. In the end, I don't know, ghosts, aliens, demons, it could be anything because I've seen spirits and things in the sky that weren't planes, but I can get into those stories another time. This is just one thing that has bothered me ever since because I truly do not know what happened. The end. Nope. Exactly. Exactly. Call me Beth. Nope. 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 We got nopes over here, too. We got hiding over here, too. Whoo, I'm shirtling so hard. <laughs> I love it. The end, the end. Okay. Do you guys think? Clearly, you are paralyzed. But the weird part is that your blanket, that it was dark. First of all, it was dark, right? So that light was gone. That's normally from the street lamp. And then someone was pulling the comforter off of you. And when you woke up and the comforter was off of you. I don't know what I think right now. Guys, what happened? Didn't I put up galaxies? Hold on. Why are there microphones up? What literally just happened? Did I not put the... <laughs> That is so wrong. <laughs> that is so wrong. Okay, anyway, getting back to this. I'll I'll do it next time, I guess. I don't know. I 
have to live with the unknowing and it bugs me. I would shit my pants, no joke. It could totally be anything, right? It could literally totally be anything. What do you guys think it is? Like, do you guys, can you shit yourself during sleep paralysis? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. TikTok said no galaxies for us. I'll try again. We'll try again. Um, I, I literally don't know what that is. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> yeah, very scary. I don't understand what that was. I literally don't have an answer for you. I don't even have a guess. Because, okay, first I was thinking sleep paralysis. Obviously, you were paralyzed. You were in sleep paralysis, right? But I've never heard of, like, something being pulled off of someone. Like, normally in sleep paralysis, if people are having a physical experience with it, it's normally like a demon on top of them or something, right? Like something, an entity on top of them. I've never heard of, like, just covers being pulled off and then you were returned weirdly in your bed. If you were returned weirdly in your bed, like that leans more towards an alien abduction, I would think. But I don't really know. Thank you, Gia. I, you were singing when you were putting the goal up. Maybe your subconscious put mics. Oh my God, maybe. <laughs> Astral projecting. Like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay, let's vote about that. That's fucking weird, Paris. That would bother me too because not sure what it is, right? Um, did you like that story? We are going to vote yes or no. YouTube, happy face or sad face, TikTok. Um, guys, did I have the story on the screen again and did I switch back? I don't remember switching back. You saw this, you saw the story on the screen, right? <laughs> Am I going crazy? I feel like I'm going fucking crazy today. God damn it, Paris. When did I do that? <laughs> I don't know when I did it. Okay, we read this on live. Fucking weird. Oh my God. Um, if you missed anything, don't worry, TikTok. First of all, YouTube, if you missed anything, you can actually rewind, pause, and fast forward on YouTube Live, which is fucking awesome. That means you guys can also hop over to YouTube and rewind if you want, or make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube because I do put the recording of this up and it will be up tomorrow so that you can rewatch. Galaxies this time, we'll try, we'll try. Thank you so much to... Everyone who contributed to this goal, thank you for to Meggie Meg and Alyssa so much for contributing to this current gift goal. I appreciate you. We're going to try again for galaxies. I don't know what happens. So we're going to try again. Okay, I think it worked this time. If the live pauses and freezes, swipe out and come back. It should help. Oh, you guys are having issues over there? Ooh. All right, the next one we have, as I said earlier, I wonder if we sent links to your, oh, you were saying something and then that got deleted, Erin. I wonder if we sent links to your live. Allie Cakes! Oh, thank you for the galaxy! I appreciate you, thank you. Woo, woo, woo! I wonder if we sent links to your live to your doctors if they'll diagnose you with ADD without an actual visit. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably, probably. <laughs> okay, TikTok, Clobo, Bluebell Woods, are you here? Clobo on TikTok, you're next. <laughs> Cheyenne, shut up. <laughs> Just show them your notes. <laughs> you mean all these notes? You can send stories to antimatrix at gmail.com. Clobo, are you here on TikTok? For Bluebell Woods, I want to make sure you're still here so that I can read your story. <laughs> Aaron. Hey, hey.
Mahalo. Call me Beth, thank you so much for the galaxy. Oh, thank you. You guys are so cool. Hey, Colleen. First time on YouTube here from TikTok. Welcome, welcome. Do you happen to be Clobo? I'm looking for Clobo. Genuine question, when you burn sage bundles, do you also burn the string that holds it together or untie it first? Um, funny story, I don't feel like I ever get up to the string. <laughs> you like my jellyfish dance? Okay, Clobo is not answering, so we're going to move on to the next person, which is JJ on YouTube, groped by a ghost. JJ, are you here? Are you here, JJ? YouTube is superior. It's great. Woo! Oh, thank you so much, Alley Cakes for the Galaxy. I appreciate you. Charity, thank you so much for those little guys. I don't know what they are. JJ is here. All right. Groped by a ghost is up next, friends. Groped by a ghost. I burn the string. I roll the string down the bundle. What song? Did I just sing a song? Peach, thank you so much for the galaxy. I appreciate you. Yay. You guys are so awesome. Guys, did I sing a song? Someone's asking me what. Meg, thank you so much for the galaxy. Oh, you guys are so great. Thank you so much. I can't believe we just hit that galaxy. The galaxy goal. Coming to say hi and like the live. I listen when it's light outside. Hi, Anne. Thank you. Oh, it was too many cooks. Too many cooks. Too many. If you don't know too many cooks, like literally after this live, go on YouTube and look up too many cooks. Watch too many cooks. It's the fucking weirdest ass shit in the whole fucking world. Too many cooks. It's like one video and I think it's like 10 minutes or something. Might be longer. It's fucking weird. It's fucking crazy. Does anyone know too many cooks? My brother's obsessed with too many cooks. <laughs> I showed it to Uncle Matrix and he fucking hated it. But I love it. I think it's crazy. You know too many cooks? Woo! Okay, we got to do a new goal. Allie Cakes, Peach, Beth, and Maggie, thank you so, so much for contributing to the live goal. You guys are amazing with galaxies. Thank you so much. You've never heard of too many cooks? Go look for it. Hey, Melissa, welcome, welcome. Can't be as weird as salad fingers? Watch. It gets real weird and violent. <laughs> it gets real weird and violent. We're going to do money guns. We never do money guns, but it looks fun. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. So basically, too many cooks, just to give you the gist, uh, is like the opening to a sitcom um, where they have the characters and their names. Thank you, Peach characters and their names um but it just continues to go over and that's like the theme song but it just goes over and over and over again and it gets weirder and more violent and weirder and fucking weirder and i literally can't even sharon you're already subscribed my love oh my god intuition beauty break is my sister-in-law i remember watching it at your mom's all of us yes she knows it that's my sister-in-law right there. She makes natural beauty products and she sells them. She's going to be selling them soon where you can buy them and have them shipped. So you should follow her because she's awesome. Um, thank you, Thea. Is it the adult swim or the cracked out cat thing? I think it's the, yes, yes, that is it. Govia, that's it. <laughs> Which to find first. <laughs> that's her right there if you want to give her a little follow. Um. So listen, I already have a list of stories that I'm reading tonight. Um, and when I finish these, we will see what time it is and if we have more time for more stories. And if we do, then maybe your story will be in there. Okay. Ooh! Okay, I'm going to read another story before TikTok hits 300K. <laughs> the elephant. Before TikTok hits 300K. Okay, groped by a ghost. Let's find groped by a ghost, friends. Um, okay, we read that online. Where is groped by a ghost? 
The word groped is just gross. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's gross. Okay. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. We're starting this at 154.44. Here we go. Hey, into Matrix. Hi. Got another one for you since you enjoyed my ghost slapping story. Working at a hospital, you're bound to have a story to tell, right? There was a period of about two months when I was constantly finding dimes. I would find at least one dime almost every day, sometimes five in one day. Finding change isn't weird, but during this time, I only found dimes. Then there was a time that I was blocked from going down a hallway. I used this hallway every day. It was the only way to get to my area unless I caught the elevator to another floor, walked down that floor's hallway, and caught the other elevator back down to my floor. This particular day, when I turned the corner to walk down this hall, I stopped dead in my tracks. It was like I couldn't move. All of a sudden, I felt this rush of grief and sadness. It was so strong. I just started crying uncontrollably. I had no idea what was happening or why I felt that way. A couple of my coworkers saw me and tried to console me, trying to ask what was wrong, but I couldn't answer. I just ran to the exit door. Once outside, everything just washed away. The morgue was in that hallway, so maybe that's a factor, but that was the only time I had that experience. The weirdest experience I had there was when me and a coworker were talking in a conference room. I sat with the table at my back while he stood, the door to his back. We were about five to six feet apart when, with nothing in between us. The conference room was closed for the day because the thermostat was broken and the heat couldn't be turned down. So that was our hiding spot for the day. I can't remember our conversation, but while he was talking, a cold wind rushed between us. It was as if someone ran by us. The temperature in the room was about 80 degrees. The rush of air felt like a winter breeze. Back then, I wasn't open about my experiences, so I tried to play it cool as if I was just listening to him. When he stopped talking mid-sentence, I asked what happened. I was so relieved when he said, you didn't feel that cold air rush by? That was my last time in that room, lol. During this time, I was living with my ex. Our apartment always felt eerie to me. I always felt like there was something else there. I hated being up late at night by myself, but since we were on different shifts, that was usually the case. I always felt like someone was watching me from the far corner of the living room or when I walked down the hall to the bedroom. I never actually saw anything. For some reason, I just felt like it was a tall man. Feeling kind of foolish, I just kept it to myself. So one night, my ex and my mother went to see Insidious. The trailer was so vague. We really had no idea what it was about. We went to the 11 p.m. showing, which I absolutely would not have done had I known what it was about. On the way back, we started talking about ghost encounters. While my ex had none to share, me and my mom had plenty. Then she hit me with a whammy. She says, yeah, like that man at your place. <gasps> my ex immediately pulled over. I asked what she was talking about. She said there was a man that would stand in the corner and watch her sleep. When I asked her why she never said anything, she just said he never bothered me and I never bothered him. With my shoulder shrug. My ex, who was staring at my mom with his jaw on the floor, eventually said He's had the feeling of someone watching him from either the hallway, our couch was positioned with its back to the hall, or the same corner in the front room. Now my last story from that apartment scared the shit out of me. It was around 12 p.m. While my ex worked first shift, I didn't have to be at work until 6 p.m. Sometimes if he didn't take lunch to work, he'd come home on his break, so I was washing my hair in the kitchen sink. Since we lived alone, all I had on was a short uh, sleep shirt. While I had my head in the sink, I suddenly felt my ex behind me feeling me up. I laughed, telling him that I knew, um, telling him I knew that wasn't what he came home for. He didn't say anything. Then I said I didn't even hear him come in. That's when I realized I always got up with him in the morning to lock the latch. You can't unlatch it from the outside. I jumped up, water going everywhere. There was no one there. I was petrified. I went to my mom's house, hair still wet, and sat there until it was time for work. I never felt anything physically after that, but the feeling of being watched still happened until I moved. The end. Oh my God. You got felt up by a ghost. You literally got groped by a ghost. That's really freaky, man. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine just being like washing your hair and feeling someone touch you and think that it's your significant other and then you're like that's not my fucking significant other holy shit nope 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 no thank you no thank you <laughs> 
No thing. What is Insidious about? I have actually have never seen. I would have fought it. You would have fought it. But if you can't see it, you just would like punch the air like this. Washing your hair is scary enough. <laughs> oh my God. There is a lot of emojis going on. You guys hit 300K. Woo! We will play the drawing game before the next story. From that point on, I only bathed while he was there. I get it. I get it. <laughs> okay. Did you like that story? Thank you so much for sharing. That was awesome and terrifying. Did you like that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face and sad face on TikTok. I've never seen Insidious either, right? Anyone else seen Insidious? Woo! You've had something like that happen to you? <laughs> oh my God. No. Thank you. No, thank you. While you guys are voting, I want to see if Stoned or Clobo is here for the stories that we skipped. And Gemma, are you here from TikTok? It still gives you chills. I don't blame you. Insidious is terrifying, not on a human centipede level, but still terrifying. I haven't seen American Horror Story, no. Oh, Clobo, you are here. I was trying to find you before and you weren't here, so I skipped your story. Okay, we'll read yours next, Clobo. Just been napping. Okay. You're up next, Clobo. Clobo. We're doing Blue Bell Woods from Clobo. You just grab that one. Red on live. Bluebell Woods. Okay. We are playing the drawing game first, TikTok, as we hit 300K. YouTube, I love you so much. I'm going to give you an ad. I, it's so unfair. It's so unfair. We have to think of something fun to do for you. I love you so much. Thank you for being you. I appreciate you so much for being supportive. Um, okay, let's play the drawing game quick. Hey. No worries at all, Megan. No worries at all. No worries, Clobo. We're going to play this drawing game. We're going to play a few rounds and then I'm going to read it. So keep your eyeballs open for a minute. Um, okay. Drawing game. Here we go. 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 <laughs> Bean. Oh, somebody got it. Somebody got it. Six people, 11 people. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 18, 19, not a clue. <laughs> 23, 24. It is not a deer. Jackalope, you know what I could see jackalope, but I'm not that good of a drawer. Drawer, drawer it's not a jackalope, okay. We are revealing the word was bug. A very simple word this time. First place, M, Lauren, 85, and Michelle, E, 84, with 11 seconds. Raya, R-I-A-H, in second place at 12 seconds. And Jane, Kemi, 13 seconds, third place. Oh, the next one they're giving me is also an easy one. Here we go. We got it, you guys are getting it, woo! <laughs> I love that you guys are just guessing random fucking words in YouTube, you guys are amazing. <laughs> 125 people got it, this one was so easy, we're revealing it was B. Okay, oh wow, first place we have a tie, Kimberly Smith, Flan Muncher, Flan Muncher, Angie, Star Lips Heart, 
Rebecca Rasmussen and Fernando with 12 seconds, first place. Second place, we have a lot of ties. M with a bow, Corgi Lover, Tina, Pum Baggles, Megan Heston, Abby Dean, Cheryl Lynn. Second place at 13 seconds. And then third place at 14 seconds, we have Ami uh, Sri Shiti Yanzon Lama, Risi, Katushka, Klobo, Rai Rosende, Kristen Stewart, Nick, Jane Kemi, Poured Creations, <laughs> Nicole Marie Brattle, Lauren85, Aub Jones, Lottie, Persevere. Holy shit, that was a lot of fucking people. All right, congratulations. We got one more. Let's see. Hmm. They're giving me easy ones. All right, ready? I know the names. Holy shit. Last one, last one. Then we're reading Clobo's story. You guys are already getting it. You've already gotten it. The wheels on the bus was the answer because 100 people already got it. Go round and round. First place, Lady April, Raya, and Aub Jones at 12 seconds. Second place, uh, Ami, Srishiti, Yanzon Lama, Sky, and Lizzie, and Tina, and Pumbagallies, and Nick, and Allie, and Fernando, and Courtney Peterson, and Angie, and Christina, and Megan Heston, and Carrie, and Intermission Beauty Break, and Abs <sighs> at 14 seconds. And third place, Natalia, Tammy EC, Inspired by Destiny, third place with 15 seconds thank you so much guys for playing you guys are amazing we do this at every 100,000 likes tiktok so keep tapping that screen and we are going to have to we're going to move on to clobo's story before she dies from exhaustion because she's in the uk and it's 4 a.m for her okay we're reading bluebell woods Ooh, bluebell bluebell woods we're starting at 020647. Okay. Hey there. Hi, I have dyslexia, so please be patient. I will, no worries at all. When I was nine or 10, myself, my cousin Georgina, age 11, and our friend Carly, age 10, also a younger child called Maisie, we're playing out. I'm saying playing, probably playing, right? We're playing out. They all loved in the area made of six courts. We were allowed to adventure around them and the two local parks. We decided to venture out one day to a local woodland called Bluebell Woods. We were walking through and my cousin Georgina said that she heard a noise saying, get out. No one else heard it, but we all stood still listening and joking that she was trying to scare us. We all heard the same, get out. We just stood still and then suddenly heard stab time. Clear as day. We ran through the nettles to the main road. We didn't stop until we got home. Oh my God, what? Oh my God. We got back to my cousin Georgina's and my mom was there with her mom. We told them what happened and my mom turned to my auntie and said, that's the woods. Oh my God, wait, I'm sorry. They said, that's the woods our Harold hung himself in. Then we got home and told my stepdad, him and my mom had been together eight to nine years and didn't know each other beforehand. My stepdad asked my mom if her cousin Harold had a brother called Edward, and she said yes. Edward passed away at 21 while swimming in the river Severn, and Harold, one year later, also aged 21. My stepdad went on to say that they grew up together. When Edward passed, Harold wanted to see if they could contact him, so they did a spirit board in the woodland bluebell woods and something told harold that he was evil and needed to leave a week later he was found harold hung in bluebell woods five days to the year that his brother passed they were born roughly a year apart and de and died roughly a year apart both age 21 the thing that scares me is the most i'm sorry the thing that scares me the most is as a child my mom showed me these graves in the cemetery we live next door to and I spent a lot of time in there growing up, playing 
tracking, walking through the school, etc. The graves are distinctive with two birds in the corner. I've searched the cemetery high and low multiple times and I can't find them even using the plot record where they should be. They're not there. There is no gap or space where they should be. The end. Is that, oh, you showed that's their graves? So your mom showed you their graves, but the graves weren't there anymore? I know. Erin has literal chills. Literal chills. Stab time. Like, what is that? But what is with the stab time? Can we please answer that question? Because the person that passed away in there, Harold, right? Was it Harold that hung himself? It was a hanging. It wasn't a stabbing. Ooh. My stepdad did the spirit board with my mom's cousin. Oh, my God. What? This one is scary and sad, I know. Ouija, oh my god. That was weird, the, the woods. Watch out in the woods. Watch out in the woods. Hold on, we're gonna vote. Did you like that story? Yes or no on YouTube? We haven't a clue why stab time. Exactly, it was so creepy. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. Did we like that story? Oh my God. I haven't literally get Georgina to confirm this story for people to believe me. Really? And Georgina still remembers it too, right? Demonic being came to possess the forest after using the board. Oh, do you think that's what happened, Erin? I mean, yes, I liked it, but also no, because how am I supposed to sleep tonight? <laughs> oh, my goodness. While we are waiting for the voting, Gemma, are you on TikTok with the strange woman at the end of my bed? Gemma, I want to make sure you're here before I read your story because you are next. How does she ever sleep? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Guys, I can't tell you why it happened. It's a coincidence of the links that scare me. It was really weird. Uh, boop. Gemma, are you here on TikTok? Stamp time is so off the wall, it made me laugh. <laughs> I'm glad it made you laugh. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story, Klobo. Target, Albert. Gemma's here. All right, Gemma. The strange woman at the end of my bed. Let's find it. Let's find it. Stab time equals rowdy spirits that are ready for action. Cheyenne groped my ghost face. Erin, remember the one time I said I was going to bed early? That's not happening at all now. <laughs> I like when you phrased it. Did you appreciate? Oh, thank you. That's actually, that's, that's a good, I forgot, Eliza. That's a good way to say it. Did you appreciate the story? Right? Is that what we said? I grew up next to a graveyard and danced on the graves that would apparently bring people back. Oh, my God. That's really scary. Why the end of the bed? Did you appreciate that story? Thank you, Chris. Yes, you too. Please make sure that you have come out of the live and you have liked the live. And TikTok, keep tapping that screen, my friends. If you're not following, make sure you follow. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you want super cool emotes, subscribe to TikTok Live, a live subscriber. If you want super cool emotes, become a YouTube member. Blah. Um. Okay, run on the live, apply, apply. Ba-bum, ba-bum, ba-bum. Ba-bum, 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 ba-bum. Boo-da-doo-da-doo-doo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo
forgot what I was doing. The strange woman at the end of my bed found it. Okay, here we go. How you become a YouTube member? How much is YouTube membership? My birthday is on the 27th. Mojo, I thought you were a member, but I think maybe it was gifted to you or something. Um, Chris, can you just put the the become a member little link in there for me? Thank you so much. Andy doing the double dip TikTok and YouTube. I love it. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I love this new emote. That's Uncle Matrix. He's so handsome. Look at that little cutie pie. All right, we are starting this one. The strange woman at the end of my bed. 02-14-52. Okay. Hi, Auntie. Hi. I've got so many stories to tell you, but I'll start from one of my earliest moment, uh, memories. So here goes. I must have been about six at the time. I realized I was a bit different from other children. I have ADHD, but I could sense people's energies. Like if they were happy, I felt happy. If they were sad, I felt sad, that kind of thing. So I know I was different, but this left me scared stiff. It was a normal night. I went to bed and I was a bit tired. This night being six years old must have been hard that day. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Just remember being so tired. My eyes were so heavy. So I went to sleep soon as my head hit the pillow. Sometime later, I don't know how long I was woken up suddenly. Looked at my feet and I see a woman sitting at the end of the bed with a black hat. Almost like a veil, a lace dress also black and tears in her eyes, just staring straight at me, not moving her eyes from me. I was so scared. I couldn't even move, even scared to breathe too loudly. My eyes looked around the room only with my eyes, not moving my head and just so scared. She sees me move and run up the bed at me. I was so scared, but I managed to look at my room and toys were moving. My toys on their own, my Barbies were moving their heads heads nope no thank you i'm tapping out it's a doll nope mm -hmm. the teddy bears were moving their eyes that kind of thing i knew that i had to get out of the room just had the sense to get the hell out of there i don't know i just had this weird sense to just run well yeah because there's a weird ghost lady in funeral garb, crying and staring at you, and all of your toys are moving. Yeah, get out. <laughs> get out of there. I don't know if it was because I was so frightened or because this has never happened to me before, but I knew I had to get out of the room. But to get out of the room would mean I would have to walk straight past the lady in black. So I put one leg out of the bed. Trying not to let her see me move, I put the other leg out of the bed. So both of my feet are now touching the floor. Soon as the second foot hit the floor, I just ran as fast as my little six-year-old legs could take me, ran to the door, ran out the door, didn't look back, shut the door behind me. My heart was beating so hard, but I was very proud I got out of there in one piece. I ran straight to my mom's room for her to tell me that it was just a dream, go back to bed. <gasps> I was so scared. She walked me back to bed, but she was gone. I was so confused, but felt so relieved. Okay, thank Okay, maybe it was a dream, but it felt so real. So I went to sleep so she didn't come back until the next night that was. She came back the next night? Mm. The same thing, just staring at me, not moving, not blinking, just sat at the end of my bed with her head over my shoulder, over her shoulder, staring at me. What do you mean her head over the shoulder? Like, was she not facing you? Like her body was facing me, but she was turned around. Staring at me, I used to just stare back, so frightened to move. This continued for about three years or so, every night, still not talking or doing anything at all. That's what scared my little brother. Uh, that's what scared me. My little brother was born, so I had to move to the smaller room, and the door where my bed was against opened, and an old doll was in there and looked just like the lady <laughs> i said to my mom that's what she looks like and my mom gave the doll away to charity and i never seen that woman again as an adult i wonder if she wanted to talk to me or if she just wanted her doll back so strange thank you for reading this out loud i hated it the end. It didn't sound like her. They don't 
No, because the woman didn't talk. The woman didn't talk. And she gave the ch the doll to charity? That poor next person. <sighs> oh, my God. I'm so freaked out right now. <laughs> Not, I was, like, fine with the ghost. Not fine, but, like, okay, ghosts on the end of the bed. The crying was creepy. The crying and staring is creepy. And wearing, like, literal, like, funeral clothes, creepy. Okay, creepy enough. Okay, but okay, ghost. Then, fucking the toys are moving. And it happens for three years? For three fucking years? Get the fuck out of here with that. Three years. I feel like after a while, honestly, I feel like after a while, I think I own that doll now. Shut up, Jesse. <laughs> you do not. I think after a little while, if it went on for too long, I think I would be over it. I don't think I'd be scared anymore. I think it'd be like, can you fucking get out of my room, please? Get out of my room. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't. I literally can't. Hold on a second. I just have to say, because I saw this, but I was reading. I didn't want to interrupt the story. Mojo, welcome to the Glitch community. Thank you so much for becoming a member even, I mean, welcome back. Rabbit, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch community. I appreciate you so much as well. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I had the same night terror for seven years as a kid. What the fucking shit? Guys, remember, your words are powerful, okay? Tell those things to go away, man. Tell them to go the fuck away. Okay, I am literally cannot. Um, We're going to vote. Um, did you appreciate that story? I guess. I don't know if I love the way that sounds, but we'll try it. Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. Um, I am just going to open the door for this cat because she clearly wants to get out. And then we will move on to the next story in just a second. TikTok, we are halfway to the next drawing goal game. Drawing game goal. So keep tapping that screen. And Jenny from YouTube, please just let me know that you are here because your story is next. Playful shadow people. Let me let this cat out. Polly girl. Such a cutie. I think it's time. It's time for the donut. It's time for the donut, friends. It's time for the donut. Even the cat was scared of the story. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Lou. I'm good. I missed you too. Thanks for being here, friends. The cat's like, I'm out. I am out. Hello, Heather Cooper. Welcome, welcome. Glad you got off work. Okay. Um, Jenny is here. Okay, we are doing playful shadow people. Playful shadow people holding hands. <laughs> okay, red on live. Live from South Africa. It's 5 a.m. but had to join before work. Hello, Luby. Thank you for joining. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Meg. It's not a nightgown. It's like a set. It's like pants and a shirt. I appreciate you, Meg. First time on my live, too. Welcome, Katri. Love your brand. You mean like me as a, as a brand? I freaking love it. Thanks. My uh, mother-in-law got it for me. Almost five in Amsterdam. <laughs> okay. Mm. Gemma, thank you so much for sharing, man. Appreciate you. Okay. We are finding playful shadow people. Playful shadow people. Playful shadow people. Ooh. 
Why didn't we fill them with water and we put them in the pan for three hours? We want to get a nice consistency. I'm being Julia Child. I don't know why. Just realized I was talking. Uh, I don't care if they're holding hands. And there's no shadow people coming in my house. <laughs> Hello, Jen A. Welcome, welcome. Playful and shadow people should not be used in conjunction like that. <laughs> Agreed, Cheyenne. Agreed. You have missed eight stories. We are on story number nine. Mary Ken, there is no normal schedule for lives for me. Um, my IRL uh, life is, my schedule is constantly changing, so I can't have an actual live schedule. Um, so just, if, the best thing to do is make sure that you are in the Discord, because I will announce when I'm going live in Discord. <laughs> Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> it is always around the same time of day, right? Like Jess just said. Um, it's around like 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but the days differ. Like just to let you guys know, I'm going to give you a heads up right now that the other days that I may be live, if I can, the tentative live days for this week are tomorrow, which is Thursday, and Sunday. Those are the two other potential days that I may go live. So keep that in your brains. Hello, Maria. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. And that's the Discord right there, dsc.gg slash antimatrix. Jess has pinned it here. You can also, you can just like go to that or you can click on the link in my bio and get it from there. Thank you so much, Chris. Hello, Samantha. Hello, Lulu. TikTok friends, we are also live on YouTube. If you prefer a YouTube live, the quality of the stream is way better and you can see the stories on the screen. That is completely up to you. Discord is free. Yes, Discord is free and open to everyone. Please, everyone is welcome. We have 1,500 people in Discord. <laughs> Playful shadow people. All right, we're going. Playful shadow people to 26.20. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that, dear. Hi, Indie Matrix. Hi. I finally sat down to write my weird story. My family and I moved from Washington, D.C. area to Durham, North Carolina when I was six years old, and because my father had purchased a home there. At first, everything seemed fine at home. It was a three-bedroom, single-family home, and I was thrilled to have my own room for the first time in my life. Then around the age of eight, I began to notice black shadows running out of my bedroom and down the hall into the bathroom. My eight-year-old mind always assumed it was an intruder and I would get a, bas uh, a baseball bat or a broom and go to the bathroom ready to attack. That is brave for an eight-year-old. We are grabbing a damn bat and going after the intruder. I never found anything, but I swear I saw the shadows almost every day like they were playing hide and seek with me. Nope. <laughs> I don't like that. We're not doing that. I would also hear footsteps when I would be home alone and whatever room I would be in would randomly have cold spots. My mother gave birth to my younger sister <clears throat> when I was nine years old. My sister was a, fuss, uh, a fussy baby and my mother would frequently put her in the baby swing so she could get things done around the home. My mother told me that one morning while making breakfast, she left my sister crying in the baby swing in the bedroom with the bedroom door open. Then there was no sound from my sister, which my mother found odd. My mother went to check on my sister and saw her sleeping horizontally on the floor as if she had been placed there. We eventually left that house a few years later due to so many weird things happening. Now that I'm 33, my mother and I talk about that house and all the strange things that happened there. She recently told me that she would also see shadow people. I checked up on the house again last year and discovered that no one had lived there for more than two to three years. I believe there is something in or around that house that prevents people from entering. I'm still researching the history of the land of which the house was built. Thank you again for sharing. I'll update if I find anything about the house. Jenny, the end. Thank you. Not with the little one. Oh my God. I know, right? Okay. Crazy. I like how you said playful shadow people. Why did we call them playful? Is it just because they weren't, did you not feel, no, because you did feel a weird energy from it, but you didn't feel a weird energy like as in, oh my God, there's shadow people that are going to potentially hurt me. You were like, oh my God, there's an intruder, which is like a bad energy, right? But, uh, as a parent of a young child, that's absolutely terrifying. 
I was literally telling my daughter stories of shadow people at our last apartment last night. Really? Wait, I'm an, I'm an abductee. Horizontal body placement and shadow people are commonly reported with the phenomena. Really? I didn't know that. I've never heard of that before. I just assumed that shadow people were just spirits and you just are seeing the shadows. Maybe you can't see the, the full apparition, but that is totally my complete guess. That's really weird. The ones I saw were also playful. How do you know that they're playful? Like, how can you tell that they're playful? <laughs> I know, Mojo. He does look really cute. That's my question. <sighs> Sometimes they put you back wrong as a way of saying we were here. I thought that aliens did that on accident. They were doing things to make me laugh. It's a feeling you just sense. At least it is for me. Children shadow people are usually playful. I've never met a shadow person, so I can't. I can't confirm or deny. <laughs> no, the child said she felt like they were playing hide and seek. It was like they were playing hide and seek, but she didn't say they were actually playing hide and seek. They're too smart to make that dumb of a mistake. I've always seen shadow people ever since childhood. That's crazy. Okay, my friends, did we appreciate that story? Ha yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. The child shadow person I deal with would run so fast, always in the corner of your eyes. I've met a ghost, a child ghost for a moment, but I didn't feel bad. I don't feel like that's the same thing. All shadow people I've met were my past family members. It's awesome to see them. I could see his details and clothes and stuff. That's very interesting. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Jenny. Your shadow people story. <laughs> that's crazy that like people kept moving out of the house. Like they just, no one stayed there for more than two to three years because people were like, fuck this shit. I am out. I am out. Mojo, you are here, I know, because you just spoke. So we're reading your story next, Good Samaritan. Can I just ask, is um, is Stoned here? Because I was supposed to read Stoned's story was number four, but then they weren't here. I think there's no one living there now. If anything happens while I listen and shower, I will cry and never listen at night again, probably. <laughs> Everyone living there literally nope. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You forgot you sent me the story mojo. <laughs> okay. Uh read on live. And we're going. Good Samaritan. I'm so grateful for the story that someone also experienced what I experienced. I'm so glad. I grabbed at my shadow people. They stopped coming after that. What? Oh, my God. TikTok, we're almost at 400K. We're almost ready for the, the game again. Am I destined to be a good Samaritan? All right. Here we go. We are starting Good Samaritan at 2.33.04. Thank you for subscribing, Shannon. Hi. Hi. I love sharing my weirdo life with you and the community. We love that you do it. It's hard for me to leave home, let alone talk to people, and it's hard to make friends, but I can love you guys from my comfort zone. There's a few example stories here, but you guys seem to enjoy my writing and the long ones. I think I'm a good... <laughs> I like how you did a little winky face after that. <laughs> I think I'm a good person, and I will always be there if I know anyone is in need. It's how I stay alive, to be honest, and why I chose my niche as a nobody influencer. That being said, I've been a bystander to tons of other people's trauma, so much to the point where I look for third man syndrome videos to see if anything sounds familiar. Here we go. What is third man syndrome? Are you going to explain that or is that something that we should know before going into this? Third man syndrome videos.
Anyone ever hear that? Anybody? Bueller? <laughs> it's a spirit that helps you in desperate times. Third man syndrome? Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Where people see someone during a trauma situation. Okay. Once as a teen, I was riding the city bus and a beautiful weirdo elderly woman, weirdo, a beautiful weirdo elderly woman moved seats to tell me that my eyes were so unique and beautiful. I smiled and said, thank you. She smiled back, but the left side of her face stayed still. She began slurring her words fast, right? This was before I had a cell, but we had the bus uh, and ambulance coordinated so fast somehow. She came to visit me when she got out of the hospital and brought me homemade tamales. Another time, I had just gotten off the bus to visit my friend. I got into her neighborhood and saw a nine-year-old boy sobbing while walking down the street. There was a man driving very slowly next to him, berating this little child and swerving at him while laughing. This time, I had a cell. I got the kiddo behind me while on the phone with the police. Long story short, dude keeps stalking kids in the neighborhood for getting too close to his driveway. Yeah. That was his final straw and he wound up in prison. I don't want to get too deep into this one, but there was a two-year-old girl with a box or bruise across her face. Left in the party store, I worked at by her parents for three hours. She knew she was safe with me and I took care of her while the police did their business. The parents finally came back and my two managers and four cops, at least six foot tall male dudes, and I'm a five, six female, had to lift me up over their heads because that's the only way they could stop me from getting myself thrown in prison myself, which I appreciate now, but let's just say I just wanted to talk a little bit. Good for you. Good for you, defendant. Good for you. It didn't have a happy ending, and I hate to think of where this precious girl is now. Oh, my God. I witnessed a car hit a motorcycle. The rider flew into the air, and I got him ER attention and ended up riding with him to the hospital, pretended I was his wife, and my husband was totally chill with it because he was really scared. He fractured his spine and had ripped everything in his right shoulder. I was just trying to get some pizza. Another motorcycle accident I witnessed was on the highway. This didn't end well either. I was on my way to a book fair and this guy pulled up in the lane next to me. I watched for bikes, so we made eye contact. He winked at me and sped off. Seconds later, a large truck pulled into his lane and I'll just leave it as he was gone. I'm the last person he ever saw and I know that in my soul. Oh my God. I've also saved three people from ODing, sat inside of one car that a young woman when she hit a semi turning in front of her and twice held hands outside of vehicles where other accidents have happened. I've already shared diving into an active shooting situation to make sure the speed special needs kids I worked with were locked down and safe. Genuinely, this is just the moments I can pull off the top of my head. You can probably tell why I have difficult time leaving the house. My most precious trauma is getting to be the one who was holding my grandma's hand as her being left to her body. I loved her with my everything and nobody else can say that they got to do that for her. This was a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm working on a project to send to you because Auntie deserves a little sugar for bringing us woos together. You're working on a project. That's exciting. I love you too. Love you. I love you too. The end. I would never leave the house either. Talk about being in the presence of a true hero. It seems like their life purpose is to save people like an earth angel. Their calling is to be a witness so hard but important. There's a lot of good things over here. She was weird. I miss her. I don't know if I could handle knowing I just looked into the eyes of someone right before they died. I know that's actually like really crazy. So much trauma. Yes. Definitely your life purpose like TikTok said. So are you saying when you're talking about <laughs> my lips are being weird. I my lips are chapped and they're being weird. So I keep touching them. Um, thank you, Allie. Oh, Mojo. Are you saying when uh, when you're talking about the third man syndrome, are you saying you feel like you're the third person that just like shows up to places to help people? I hope you're doing OK. I would be scared to go out. Aww. 
well, I know you're not doing it on purpose, but thanks for being there and helping all these people, Mojo. It's definitely something that you're called to do. I do feel like the third man. It seems like it. Look up mountain climbing third man. Kudos to them. She's, she's their comfort. You're probably the person each one of them needed in that moment. There's no coincidences. I believe that. Oh, I love that, Caitlin. I love that. Yes, I love all of the things that we are thinking and saying right now. The third man factor or third man syndrome refers to reported situations. Oh, okay. I hope you realize how important your mere existence has changed the lives for the better, Mojo. This is what people are saying. Definitely a higher calling there. Someone's hero. I'd like to call you an earth angel instead of third man. Earth angel. There's so many more guys. It's crazy. That's so crazy, Mojo. Little earth angel right here. Right here on TikTok and YouTube. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face and sad face on TikTok. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for sharing that story, Mojo. Thank you so much. Uh, Dora, I want to make sure that you are still here because you are next to my childhood home. And TikTok, we hit 400K. So we're going to play the drawing game. As soon as we're done with this vote, we'll play the drawing game before we read Dora's story as long as Dora is here. Earth Angel, Earth Angel. The timestamp for that one was 2.33.04. But just so you know, when I put up these recordings, like the replays of these lives on YouTube, um, if you look in the description, um, I do list the stories with their timestamps. So you could like click to go to the specific ones that you want. Hey, Andy, is someone talking in the background? Oh, the TV's on. The TV's on in the living room. Uncle Matrix, I think, is watching TV. Yes, Dora is here. Perfect. Two thirty three oh four. Yeah, why, Megan? Why? Two thirty three oh four. Why did you get so excited about two thirty three oh four? I lost an entire day binging your YouTube videos last weekend. I love it. Watching. Oh, like two, three, four, and thirty three. <gasps> Yes, angel numbers was your story, your story timestamp. That's so cool. Uh, watching the live to block out all the weird noises I've been hearing tonight. When I keep hearing, are you sure you want to watch this? It's, if you're not tapping, you're slacking. She's an absolute angel. Oh, that's so cool. All right, I'm writing down my childhood home because it's going to be next, but we are going to do... The drawing game on TikTok first because TikTok hit 400K. Yeah, that is so cool, right? Um, wait, what? So somebody asked what was the timestamp of that story, Mojo? Like, because I always write down the times since I put the timestamps in the description of the replay. And I said it was 233.04 and they were like, oh my God, are you serious? That's an angel number. It's like 234 and there's a 33 in there. Crazy, crazy. Ad on YouTube, thank you. Yes, YouTube, you're getting an ad because I love you so much. Erin, <clears throat> thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch community. I appreciate you, thank you so much. The drawing game, Drek, welcome to your first live. TikTok, if you don't know what the drawing game is, I'm going to draw on the screen. It's a game that TikTok has in lives. I, it gives me a word. I draw it on the screen and you guys guess in the comments what it is. And we see who gets it first. We do that at every 100,000 likes. So make sure you're tapping the screen, friends. <clears throat> okay. I know, right, Cheyenne? I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. Me having YouTube premium so I don't get ads. Watching on YouTube and playing games on TikTok. <laughs> I love that you guys are doing that. Thank you so much for supporting me in both places. I super appreciate all of you so much. I really, really do. <clears throat> okay. All right, TikTok, here we go. 
Okay, this is so fun. You're talking right back to me. I'm an old soul, so this is too fun. Thank you. You're welcome. I try my best. I'm live on TikTok and YouTube at the same exact times. I try my best to answer as many things as I can in both chats and be engaging because that's what we're here for is to hang out, right, guys? Okay, here we go. Hubs loved your comments and was being... I can't see that good. L.I. sweet, so I'd miss the explanation. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, Erin. No worries. All right. We are playing the drawing game. Here we go. Number one. Drawing number one. Mm. We're drawing. This is a pretty easy one, I think. We got it. You're guessing it. We're guessing it. I love to see like all the things that people are guessing because it could be any of the things that you guys are guessing. <laughs> okay. Six. You guys all got it so fast. We are going to reveal this one was bridge. We got, let's see, Michelle Daly and Drek. Oh. We're uh, tied for first place at 14 seconds. Then we have TT with the kiss face, with the with the lips. Lindsay with a white heart tied for second place at 15 seconds. And then Mrs. Mari Reyes, blue is rad, inspired by destiny. And Kayla, the picture with the pink shades, um, tied third place at 16 seconds. All right, here's the next one. Ready? Here we go. You said tennis. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Now you said tennis and I can't remember the word is. Oh, okay. Hold on. Um, okay. Come on, guys. You could do it. Yes, somebody got it. Somebody got it. Three people got it. Four people got it. Five people got it. I got to eat a tortilla. I'm like starving. I don't know why. Yes! You're getting it. You're doing it. Nice job, friends. <laughs> YouTube just guessing random letters, words. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. We're revealing the word was brain. Let's see. Angie was in first place. Angie with the stars. Kiss heart. 23 seconds. M with the bow and Lindsay with the white heart. 29 seconds. Second place. And Megan Heston, third place at 30 seconds. Give me one second. Got you. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Oh, God. Am I going to be able to do this? Oh, I think I can do this. All right. Here we go. Last one. Hmm. Can you get it? Oh, somebody got it. Two people, four people, nine people, 18 people, 27 people. You guys are awesome. Guys, it is not any of these things, YouTube. It is none of those. <laughs> it's none of those. 98 people. All right, we're revealing because 100 people got it. It was buckle. The word was buckle. Lindsay with a white heart. Lindsay, you're on fire. 19 seconds, first place. Lou, 20 seconds, second place. And third place is a tie between Desiree, Katushka, Mary Ann and, Dr and Drek at 21 seconds. Congratulations. Great job, everybody. We are done for now. If we hit 500K, we will play again before we leave. You didn't do great this time. I thought it was a bridge. The first one was bridge. This one was pants. <laughs> Hold on. I hope you get paid for comments. I don't get paid for comments, but comments do help me. 
They do help me push the video out, I think, because it's engagement. Um, give me a second. I need to eat this because I'm like really starving for some reason. You know why? Because I ate dinner at like five o'clock and I barely ate anything because I was in such a rush. I was eating while I was finishing up my YouTube video and then I immediately ran to gymnastics. Tortilla break. <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> hmm. Could you move your phone to the camera so people on YouTube could see it? No. If I, because, so my webcam is here. Here, look, I'll show you. Hold on. I'll show you TikTok. Girl dinner. Um, this is my setup here, if you're interested. I got one light, two lights, three lights. This is OBS. This is YouTube, what YouTube is seeing. This is the YouTube chat. And then this is my computer. So this is the, this is YouTube. But anyway, so my camera is here, right? So if I were to turn and face you guys to the camera, I wouldn't be able to see the words. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? <laughs> Hi, YouTube chat. They said, hi, YouTube chat. <laughs> I put you on my TV and you're still blurry. Why am I blurry? I should not be blurry. My stream is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um. Hi, TikTok. Mm, Cheyenne, that sounds good. Cool setup. Uncle Matrix was just saying I need to expand my setup. I need more space. Not blurry on your YouTube? Your brain says random things like mine do. Mm-hmm. New mom here. Haven't been on TikTok lately. Missed you so much, Auntie Matrix. Welcome. Congratulations. Welcome to motherhood. It's going to sound weird, but sniff that baby for me and eat its feet. Okay. <laughs> hey, Kate. We As soon as I finish this tortilla, we're reading another story, but we are on story 11. No, we're on story 12, and we're not going to be reading that many more. Hello. Mine's usually blurry, but clear right now. It's really weird that you guys are having blurry thingies because... On my OBS, it says it's the connection is like perfect. Sniff your babies. Baby sniffs. <laughs> it's exhaust. It is exhausting. Why am I eating a tortilla like that? Because I want to, bitch. That's why. <laughs> I wonder if YouTube has had an AI and TikTok had an AI. What would they say? Interesting. TikTok is clearer than YouTube for you? That is so weird. My better equipment is on YouTube. <laughs> oh, shoot not. <laughs> what does OBS mean? OBS is, um... Thank you. Um, why, Ugh, hold on, I don't know why I should not be blurry for you guys on YouTube. I'll check the replay. If the replay is blurry, then it's me. But if the replay is clear, then it's you. That's so weird, guys. Shouldn't be. No, OBS is not obviously. So OBS is, it's it's a software. Um, it's free. You can download it. I think it's like open broadcasting software is what it stands for. But it's what everything goes through. So like I'm streaming on YouTube using OBS. So like my camera's hooked up to there. My mic is hooked up to there. Um, thank you for subscribing, Bella and Scarlett. Um, and then I can put things on the screen in there. You can do so much in OBS. Oh, 
Um, um. Okay, I'm almost done. We can read in one second. Let me just chew this up and swallow it. Guys, you're halfway to 500K. If we get to 500K, we can play again. Hmm. You guys are talking about huffing your cats. It's really good. You're very clear for me. It's clear for me. Thank you, guys. I should be clear for you. Okay. My childhood home. Let's find it. Found it. Found it. This is only my second life. How do we get to 500K? Oh, guys, if it's if you're new to the live, hello and welcome, by the way. My name is Jess. People call me Anti Matrix, and I read people's weird, unexplainable stories that they send to me about glitches in the Matrix, paranormal stuff. See, I was going to say angels. Sometimes angels. Aliens. Dreams and stuff like that. Um, TikTok. If you want to help with the goal, so this is the like goal. These are likes right here. If you tap your screen with your finger, little hearts come up. Um, and that's you liking the live, sending likes. So we're trying to get to 500,000 likes because at every 100,000 likes on TikTok, we play this drawing game. <gasps> Vanessa, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vanessa. Happy birthday to you. I bury my face in his belly and inhale. Yes, it's actually really good. Apparently, it's really good for you to smell your pets, your cats. Like, it's good for your brain and your self. You have a tech stalker. That's interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Darlene. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, here we go. We're reading this one, and then... We will see, we probably have time for a few more stories because it's only 11.20. So we'll pick a few more stories after this. This one is My Childhood Home, 0256.30. Here we go. Hi, Auntie. Hi. I wanted to start off by saying I have watched you from day one and you have grown so much. And I love the community that you've created. Oh, thank you. Thanks for being an OG. So when I was going into middle school, my mom decided to move our family to the middle of nowhere in a little one-stop light Mayberry type of town in Ohio. This town screams Victorian era. The house we moved into was built in 1804. Holy crap. I'm really into history. So once we settled, one of the first things I did was go down to the historical society. I wanted to get any information about our house that I could. I was surprised to find out that the house we now resided in was once the doctor's office slash hospital and the house next door was the funeral home. Oh my God. At this early age, I didn't believe in ghosts, but I was really creeped out from the fact that the house had history that it did. I have five older brothers and between all of us, we have so many stories of things. Moving, footsteps right behind you when you're home alone, screams from the basement. Oh my God, screams from the basement. I could tell you so many stories, but for today, I will tell you about my first ghost encounter. My twin brothers and I were in the upstairs living room area playing Nintendo 64. This was the late 90s. I casually told my brother that I feel like someone is coming down the hall behind us, thinking it was one of my older brothers. We all hear a man's deep, oh, oh my God, I hit my mouse and I scared myself. <laughs> I literally can't. <laughs> Thinking it was one of my older brothers, we hear a man's deep laugh. We turned our heads around all at the same time to see a full appearance of a tall older man with a top hat and a suit with a short vest underneath. What you would picture a man from the 1800s to wear it was like a suit that you would never, I'm sorry, it was like a suit that you would wear to a ball during that time period. His smile looked friendly, but out of fear, we all ran out of the house as fast as we could. From then on, my brothers and I were always together. Our house was known around town to be the haunted house, but my mom didn't believe us. Over the years, she realized our house is very active with spiritual activity. We found out that we had several spirits that took residence with us. Much love to you. Thanks again, Auntie. The end. Oh my goodness. Okay, everyone's saying hat man, but I'm not sure if it's hat man, right? I'm really not sure if it's hat man. Because yes, 
Okay, Hatman normally presents as like 10 feet tall shadow figure, like black, 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 no face, but red glowing eyes and a hat. That's like a top hat, right? My nose is so itchy. Um, but this one, they could see his face. He was smiling and he had like a vest on. So I don't think it was a hat man. Never heard the hat man speak. Right. And the hat man doesn't speak, right? I would cry if I'm a ghost and smile at someone and they run. You would cry if you were the ghost? <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Maybe someone dressed for their funeral, maybe. But also, dad, like, back in the 1800s, I feel like that's what people wore. Like, people didn't wear sweatpants. <laughs> Not a hat man, right? I didn't think it was a hat man. Total Lincoln vibes. Definitely not Hat Man. Right, right, right. That's what I was thinking. It's storming here and my screen door slammed during this story. Love that for me. He was probably a former resident. That's what I got, right? Hat Man is the men in black of the ghostly realm. <laughs> Just a fancy creepy dude. Yeah, I feel like he was probably a former resident, someone that lived in the house before. Our house had several balls. Our house held several balls, right? So he was probably ready to go to the ball. Still, and he smiled. Did you see him anymore? Or was that the, that the only time, Dora? I think just an old man, but he seemed nice and not trying to spook you guys. Like, I don't think he was trying to scare them either. 500K TikTok! Woo! Killing it! We will play the drawing game in just a second. You saw that same guy several times. Did he ever like speak to you? Among others. I know you said there was like a lot of other activity. How old was the house? The house was uh, built in 1804. Allie Cakes, thank you so much for the money gun. We need six more money guns. We get to play again. We do, we do, we do. Uh, Gina, thank you so much for the money gun. Woo! You guys are killing it with the likes today. I'm so proud of you, TikTok. Maybe tomorrow I'll actually write up my ghost stories to see in which was the original reason I subscribed on TikTok months ago. <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> oh my God. Your nose just cleared up. You're just saying that, Jess. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. <laughs> Okay, oh my god, my butt. Oh, my butt, my butt, my butt, my butt. Okay, we are gonna vote. Let us vote. How about, like, did you enjoy that story, or is that the same as, like, did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube, happy face or sad face on TikTok. <laughs> Patty Cake, thank you so much for the money gun. Appreciate, appreciate. And Stoned, Stoned is just not in chat still on YouTube. I'm craving some alien encounter stories. Ooh. I tried one of those, Mojo. I did get a memory foam pad for the specific thing, and it was very uncomfortable. I hated it. I like the donut better. Hashtag relatable. I started following Auntie on Instagram months ago because I have a plethora of stories I could share, but I'm lazy, so. <laughs> Welcome back, Brittany. Welcome back. What's funny is my daughter is playing with her money gun now, but it's fake money. <laughs> is it something with your spine? Yeah, I, uh, I like, I hurt my tailbone somehow. What happens for 500K again? It's so We're playing the drawing game. Every 100K likes, every 100,000 likes on TikTok, we play the drawing game. We play three rounds of it, so we're going to play that in just a second. Okay, yeah, let's pick a few stories because we have time for a couple of more. Not that many more because it's 1130 and I like to get off by 12. So we'll pick like three more stories. Uh, we're going to do Caitlin over here. 
mimic in my previous home. There's someone over here. Do you think you were meant to have a tail, maybe? Who was trying to send their story before and they've waited patiently. Saul, what's the name of your story, Saul? The Witch at the Park. Ooh, Caitlin, it's a long one, that's great. Okay, I got you, we'll pick one more. Alana, what is yours, Alana? What's the name of yours? <clears throat> the Mummy Returns. Don't forget Chloe's story. Wait, where's Chloe? Is Chloe on YouTube? Oh, Chloe, Chloe. Chloe, what's your story? And then that has to be it because that's four and that's probably gonna take me longer. Chloe, come back. We can read your story. Chloe, come back. Oh, is this Clobo? Are you Chloe? Oh no, it's an it's another Chloe person. Oh, it's another story. She already had a story read today, guys. She scroll squad. Um Okay, yeah, we'll wait just cuz we already read one of yours today. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, turtle. Oh my God, I totally sent Chloe come back in that tomb when I typed it. Twins. Okay. So we have three, which I think is good. Okay, Brie. Okay, Brie. Last one. Brie, what's, the, what's your story, Brie? And that'll be the last one. Just four because I got to go to bed. I got to try to get four stories and at least one round of the drawing game on TikTok in, in 30 minutes. The cowboy entity. Okay. <clears throat> okay. YouTube, you are getting, guess what you're getting? <laughs> guess what you're getting, YouTube? Because you love me. Last ad of the night. Last ad of the night. Thank you so much. I love you. I appreciate you. Let me know what you get. Um, shoes? Not shoes. TikTok. Let us play the drawing game before we read these last three stories of the night. Okay. Here we go. Mm, last round of the drawing game. Last round of the drawing game. Draw and guess. Okay. First one. Here we go. Oh, someone got it. Four people got it. Eight people got it. 16 people got it. 25, 29, 34, 42. You guys killed it. Wait, guys, it's like this, this is the size of my face. Look. Do I look like I have a beard? <laughs> the answer was beard. First place, we have Ashley. Mandy with two hearts. Nooklings Crafts all in first place at 18 seconds. Second place, we have Carrie Langston, Charlie, Jesus Lee and Michelle E84 at 19 seconds. And third place we have Lexi Sinwen818, Chantel Hessen Thaler, Lady April, Tori Payson, Jeanette, Heather Cooper, Courtney Fox, all at 20 seconds. Holy shit, you guys. Holy shit. What did we get over here? We got Tubi Blanket Shampoo, Tubi Horse, Flintstone Vitamins ad, Bird. Operating table, HBO, Caterpillar, Butterfly. Oh, you're, those aren't ads. You're yelling words. I'm such a fucking idiot. <laughs> such an idiot. Okay, here we go. Next one. Next word. Okay. 
No ad for you on YouTube. Ooh, someone got it. Two, three, nine, five, eighteen, nineteen, thirty-two, thirty-six, fifty-one, fifty-seven. Woo! You guys are so good. 82 people got it. We are revealing the word was button. First place was Lizzie with a bunch of E's at 15 seconds. Then Katushka. Katushka. Second place at 16 seconds. And third place is a tie between Carrie Langston, Embrace the Rain, Megan Heston, Abby Dean, Aub Jones, Jess Called Cards at 17 seconds. All right. What do we got now? Oh, God. All right. Here's the next one. Here's the last one, TikTok. Last one. And then we read our last three stories. Mm. Okay. I think I do like my work. And then I do my confessions. Oh. You guys are getting it. You're getting it. 22, 25, 26, 33 people, 39 people, 47, 49, 54, 54, 67, 70, 71. You guys are so good. The answer was chandelier. First place was a tie between Nikki, Gosnell, and Miriam at 24 seconds. Then second place was a tie between Desiree, Dana Du, Heather Cooper at 25 seconds. And third place was a tie between Boji B and Moon Hand Healing at 26 seconds. Thank you guys so much for playing. It's a crown on poop. <laughs> Thank you very much for playing TikTok. We're going to move on to the last three stories. Mm, um, Jess called cards. Margarita says, please tell Jess called cards hi for me, hoping they all feel better soon. And she sent a hand heart to you, just so you know. Okay. Oh. All right, we got three more stories, friends. Three more stories. The first one is, oh, four more stories. I lied, four more stories. Um, mimic in my previous home. She says, hi, thank you. Mimic from my previous home. Okay, here we go. All right, we're starting this at 3, 12, 35. Hi, Auntie. Hi. I'm back again because I caught your live finally. So here is another story, but this one is much more recent than the last stories I've sent in. For context, this was the house we just moved out of in February of 2023. It was actually my mom and dad's house that they were renting. We were just staying there while in between our rent, our own rent houses. Plus, I had a newborn, so of course I want to stay with my mama. Anyways, this house isn't too old. Maybe built in the 80s with only one owner, well, family, technically. No deaths in the home, so no weird activity should have been going on there. Wrong. There were many instances where we had a clear-as-day mimic in our house. The only way I know how to keep this simple and sweet is to number them. So here we go. Okay, she numbered the incidences. Okay, one. I was home alone before my son was born. The whole family was out to dinner and I stayed home to sleep. I was woken to the sound of my sister calling my name from down the hallway, so I got up to go into the kitchen to get my food that they were bringing me. There was no one home. I checked Life 360 and they were still at the restaurant. I know what I heard. It woke me up from a dead, pregnant sleep. No pregnant woman is going to wake up for just anything, or at least I didn't. Two. My sister and I were in the living room watching TV just as the house, just as at the house with my son. 
We heard my mom cough from her bedroom. But you have to understand, my mom's cough is so distinct. If she coughed in a crowd of other coughers, I could instantly pick hers out. We, of course, got up to check and make sure that we weren't imagining watching her walk out to go to the store. And, of course, we were right. She wasn't there. Three. A few months after having my son, I guess the mimic learned his cry. Just typing that gave me the chills. Ugh. My mom was outside in the backyard doing yard work while the rest of us went to do other things in town. While we were gone, I got a call from my mom asking if I needed her help with the baby. I was confused and I replied, no. She said, well, I've been sitting here listening to him scream and cry for the last 10 minutes. I wanted to give you time and not intrude, but I figured I would finally offer. I froze. How scary to know that the mimic has been paying that much attention because my son wasn't that fussy of a baby. He really only cried when he was hungry and obviously we didn't let that last long at all. I told my mom that we weren't home yet and she said that her knees almost buckled underneath her because she just couldn't believe it. She said it was so real and it was like right inside our bedroom window. Oh my God, that one really creeped me out that it was mimicking your baby. Oh my God. Four. There were multiple occasions of people hearing their names being called when no one actually called them. Sometimes it happened when everyone was home, sometimes when someone was home alone. Five, we had tile floors in that house, but the foundation was kind of shifting, so there were gaps, cracks, and air pockets all in the tile. So walking on it wasn't actually all that quiet. For anyone who's good at recognizing each person's footsteps, you can easily distinguish who's in the house just by them walking. We have all, literally every single one of us, has heard footsteps in the house that wasn't any of ours. No one recognized them. We would inspect the house and no one was ever there. I'm sure there's more, but I just woke up my child from moving too much to type this. So I'm going to stop now. Thanks for reading. If you do, much love to you and the auntie crew that rhymed. Were you trying to be a poet and you didn't know it? The end. Uh, Mojo said, stop at the creepy babies. I really got to sleep. Leave the children alone. <laughs> It mimicked my baby multiple times. Wait, Kate, are you saying that this happened to you too? With the baby? Oh, SMR, I already gave that away. It's her. Oh, she's in here now. I have her written down as YouTube. So when she told me she was in YouTube or I just wrote it down wrong. I write down like who's from where so I know where to look for comments. <laughs> I'm the same person. I just came over here from YouTube. No worries. No worries. She moved to TikTok. I got it. The the friggin' literally I'm so creeped out by the baby one. Like the mimicking the baby's cry is so scary to me. Like why is that so scary to me? Oh my God. Jake Johnson, thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you. Welcome to the glitch community. Can we mimic a mimic? Interesting. Like, what do they want? What is a mimic like? What do they want? I don't know what they want. Does anybody know what a mimic wants? Like, I've never heard of any, I was going to say, I've never heard of any stories where like a mimic situation has happened and something has happened to the person and the person has never returned, but it's probably because those people have never returned. No idea. Usually control. Right, because you wouldn't ignore a baby. That's what makes it really scary. It's a false sense of security. You trust your baby. Yes. Yes. Hey, Mary. Don't answer or invite them in. My sister daughter said, wake up the other mommy in the closet. And she wanted to go down the closet. Oh, stop it. They want your energy and fear. What? <laughs> Blah. It is so much better over here. I agree, Mary. I agree. Oh my God. That was so creepy. How long did you live in that house? Did you say that in the story? Because if you did, I forgot. Yeah, you just moved. Oh, you just moved out. Yeah, you just moved out. So this stuff was like going on the whole time. How old is your kid? Like from the baby crying incident, how long did we stay in that house? They won't get energy or fear from me. I'm medicated. 
Um, Bun Biatch. Um, if I read uh, so your story, I'll email you and let you know. You'll know that I read your story. Jessica, if I keep hearing that, I might punch one. I don't know. <laughs> I used to hear my boyfriend call me from his son's room all the time, even when he wasn't home. Oh, my God. No, I forgot, but I only lived there personally for five to six months. We moved out in February. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh my God. Whew, that was a good one. We are voting. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face, sad face on TikTok. My parents lived there for three years, though. I don't know how they stayed there. Hi, Sam. All right, after this one, we are reading Saul's The Witch at the Park. I'm going to get that one ready. I'm kind of moving through these a little quicker than normal because I would like to get offline before 12, and I don't think that's going to happen. But I just love you guys so much. I just want to read all your stories forever. Um, read on live. Now we're getting... The Witch at the Park. Okay. Thank you for saying appreciate because no, I did not like it. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you for all that you do for us, Carol. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you guys for all that you do for me, man. You guys do so much for me. You send me your stories. You allow me to share your stories with the world. You comment, you like, you follow, you hang out. You guys do so much for me. You gift, you subscribe. I appreciate you. Thank you, Boji. I keep forgetting to hydrate. If the last story ends up being creepy, as fuck, I'm gonna be mad. I hope it's a funny, heartwarming story instead. I need a sweet ending. <laughs> Lady, I'm going by my time. Thank you, Bella. Thank you, Alana. Good night, good night. How many more money guns do you need? We need uh, three more money guns. Three more money guns. Okay, friends. We are moving on to the next story. The next one is Saul's story, The Witch at the Park. 3, 22, 10. Here we go. <clears throat> so this story is something that my fiance experienced with his friends about eight years ago. Thank you, Amy. There's a park called Peck Park in Harbor City with San Pedro where my fiancé and three of his friends headed over to one Friday night. They had each took a 40 with them to drink. Oh, I said that so. I pronounced that so. I enunciated so much on. They each took a 40. I don't know why that made me laugh. They had each took a 40 with them to drink over there and were walking down a dark trail. They suddenly hear a scream of a woman and they all turn around to see if they were able to see anything, but all they saw was a bunch of trees. It was a foresty area. About a minute or so later, they hear footsteps coming up behind them as they are still waking up, walking up the trail towards a cliff and they see a man walk in front of them. My fiance friend told him hello, but got no answer back and the guy kept walking. Another friend then said, what if that's the person that probably hurt the woman who screamed, let's follow him and beat his ass. So they tried to catch, well, how do you know? That's like very, how do you know? <laughs> uh, they tried to catch up with him. And when they reached the end of the trail, which ends at a cliff, he was nowhere to be found. There's only one way back. And that's the same trail because ahead of them was just a steep cliff with a 200 foot drop or more. They then were looking at each other confused, but they kept drinking. And when my fiance looks down at the cliff, he sees a big boulder and what appears to be the shadow of a woman, but he wasn't sure. 
He had finished his 40 and his friends grabbed the bottle and said, throw it down there and let's see if there is someone. So the friend throws the bottle and it lands on the boulder next to the shadow. I don't like these people. I just want to say. We're going to kick people's asses that we don't even know what's going on. We're throwing bottles, littering and breaking glass to try to hit a person to see if it's a person. <laughs> Not a fan. Okay, hold on. Uh, the friend throws a bottle and it lands on the boulder next to the shadow. Suddenly a lady gets up and it wasn't a shadow. It was an actual lady. And they said her hair looked all dirty and had like leaves on it. And they freaked out and said, oh shit, it really was a person. One of the friends said, let's get out of here before she starts tripping on us. So they turned around and head towards the trail to go back. And once they walked about 100 feet from the cliff, they heard like wind and they look back and the lady was floating in midair above the cliff. They couldn't believe it. No words were exchanged from my fiance to his friends. He said they just ran for their lives. And he said the funny part was that his 300 pound friend was the one that was running the fastest. <laughs> So they left the park and were all terrified and said they would never go back. About two years after they went to a friend's house, they brought up the story to his friend's mom and the mom's husband happened to walk in as they talked about the lady floating in midair. And his response was, she's still there? <gasps> they looked at each other and said, you know her? The guy then said, yes, she has been there since I was in high school. Mind you, he was already in his 40s, so it had been some time. My fiance asked how he knew about her, and he said that it was a lady that used to go to the park and do rituals and sacrifice cats and other animals, and one day was taken to a psych ward where she later committed, she later unalived herself. My fiance said he got chills because they realized what was at the park was the ghost of the witch and said he would never go back. Sometimes I joke and tell him, let's go. And he said, you couldn't pay him enough to ever go back there. The end. Jessica Show says, serves them right. <laughs> nope. Nope to the cats. Not the cats. Not the kitties. They could be cursed. It was a different time. That was their karma for throwing the bottle, I tell him. <laughs> yes, that was their karma. I agree with that. I agree with that. F around and find out. You probably shouldn't throw beer bottles at possible people. Fuck around and find out. Agreed, Erin. Agreed. Why have people always got to sacrifice their cats? I don't know. <gasps> Leave the cats alone. I'm sure the cats was just a rumor. I hope so. I really hope it was just a rumor. Oh, my God. Blah. Okay, hold on. We're going to vote. Did you appreciate that story? I wonder if this is like yes or no on YouTube and a happy face and sad face on uh, on TikTok. Um, what's it called? She's still there sent me. Yes, she's still there. It was like, oh, my God. That's crazy. So it seems, did this lady potentially like fall off the cliff? Maybe the screaming you heard was like the her reenacting falling off a cliff. Not reenacting. What's that word? You know, when it's like they're reliving their death. Oh my God, there's the word. The ghost is like reliving their death. What is that word? Residual. An echo. Echo. An echo. Residual haunting. Um, people are saying death loop, residual. So all the same thing. Yes. Uh, maybe that's what the screaming was. And that's why she was down there with like this, you know, down there. And then she had like the stuff in her hair and the dirt and stuff because she fell. Maybe it was her trying to draw people in. Could have been. Could have been. Could have been. That was crazy. Thank you so much for sharing, Saul. Thank you. Thank you. Our, le our next story, we have two more, is going to be The Mummy Returns by Alana on TikTok. The Mummy Returns. Uh, right online. We got to find The Mummy Returns. What about the other guy? Yeah, wait, who was the other guy? 
That's a great question. If Brendan Fraser isn't in this story, I'm out. <laughs> You're funny. I love the mummy movies. They're so good. They're so good, right? What was the park? Uh, I don't know. What was the name of the park? The park was called Peck Park. Okay. Here we go. The Mummy Returns. Oh three thirty oh two. Hey, Auntie. Hi. This is not as out there as your usual stories, but it is a strange one. My mom left me and my dad when I was three years old. She went to live in another country thousands of miles away. After a couple of years, I did go visit her and she would come here too, but the distance was too much, so it wasn't very often. After I had my oldest son, I seen her one last time and we had a falling out and lost touch. The last time I had seen or heard her was in uh, heard from her was 1999. Skip forward to 2015, 16 years after I had seen or spoken to her, I was upstairs in my house. I walked past my bedroom door and got the strongest smell of Lux soap. I'm not sure if America ever had it, but it was an old soap that the UK didn't have anymore. My mom would only ever use Lux soap and I never came across it anywhere else. So I found it so strange smelling it in my room. The smell left as fast as it came, but it freaked me out. The same day I was downstairs in the sitting room having a cup of tea and reading my daily horoscope. At the end of the horoscope, it said that an unexpected visitor will be at my door at the weekend. This was a Wednesday afternoon. Three days later, I was in bed having a lazy morning and my doorbell rang. I assumed it was Amazon as I have an obsession with buying things from Amazon, don't we all? And there is a delivery to my house most days. I walk down the stairs, open the door, and there stands my mother. I was so shocked and freaked out. I did, uh, I understand smells and things are common when someone has passed away, but don't understand how I could smell her when she was thousands of miles away and the horoscope just made it even more weird. The end. Okay, guys. So it was the mummy returns, but it was mummy like mommy, but they're in the UK. So they say mum. It wasn't an actual mummy, which I thought that it was. <laughs> I just want to say that. Um, can I just say... Are we thinking that mom passed away and that was, are we thinking that mom passed away and that was like her ghost visiting? Mommy. Right? <laughs> yes, I think it was her passing. Yeah. I'm glad that she came and visited you. You smelled her? That's so crazy. Wait, no. Alana said, no, she is alive. No, she's saying, no, she's alive. I guess that's what she's saying. I understand smells and things when someone has passed away, but I don't understand how I could smell her when she's thousands of miles away. She just returned. That's so interesting. So her standing at your doorway was your actual mom. Like your actual mom came. Premonition. People are saying premonition. The smell was a premonition thing that mom was coming back. That I was very I was very freaked out. In my brain, I was like, you were smelling a dead spirit and then you saw a spirit at your door. But no, you saw the actual person. Got it. Got it. Got it. She smelled her on her way. That's crazy. The mom was actually at the door. Yes, premonition, premonition. I get it now. I get it now. Aw, that's actually even really cooler. Okay. Um, did you appreciate that story? We are voting yes or no on YouTube and happy face, sad face on TikTok. And then friends, we're reading this last story and then Auntie has to go because I'm very tired. And I'm 
having like some pain in here and I don't know why. Um, this last one is Bree Story. It is Cowboy Entity. Thank you, Freya. Ooh. Sub goal was achieved. I didn't even see what happened, friends. What happened? Gina sent lots of subs. Thank you so much, Gina, for sending all the subscriptions. Thank you, thank you, anyone that just subscribed. I can't see because there's too many happy faces, sad faces everywhere. I'm unsure what I voted on. I know, right? Um, sorry, I'm distracted because I'm having like some pain in my belly. So we're going to read this last one. Cowboy entity. Let's find it. And then I have to go. Oh, it's a, it's a little short, little ditty. Okay, here we go. This is Cowboy Entity, and we are starting it at 3.36.04. Here we go. Hi. Hi. I'm Brie on TikTok. Hello, Brie. So one night I went to a friend's house to hang out and spend the night. She had been telling me that some weird things had been happening to her. She had been being pulled. Wait, what? She had been being pulled out of her bed at night, seeing weird faces in her mirror like it would fog up out of nowhere and there would be a face there. She showed me the face and my dumbass said, hey, we should get out the Ouija board and mess around. Why the fuck would you do that, Brie? Why would you do that? So we did that and the lights kept flickering and we kept hearing knocking noises. I got paranoid and said, nope, I'm done. As soon as we were done, I had just been looking around probably because I was paranoid and I saw this figure on the stairs that looked like a cowboy. No one else saw it, but they had been drinking and I hadn't because I was pregnant at the time. Anyways, I left after that. The next day I told my friend, what I had seen and she said, oh my God, that's the guy I've been seeing and that's been pulling me out of my bed. <gasps> she hadn't told me what he looked like before that moment so I would not have known. The end, the end. Oh my God. Nope. Why do we take out the Ouija board? Why do we do that? Why do we do that? Yeah. <laughs> No, Jess, I can't. I need to go. I need to leave. <laughs> I can't. I can't with that. Your six-hour mimic story. Did you, if you typed it up, did you type it up? No way you typed it up. Please don't do that. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of, like, faces over here and faces over here and everything. Why, why was it so dumb? I don't know. <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. I figured. I figured. And she was pregnant. Oh, my God. A cowboy hat ghost. I feel like I've heard of a cowboy hat ghost before. Okay, let's, thank you so much for sharing your weird little story. Um, did you appreciate that story? Pre I'm sorry, I'm rushing a little bit. I'm just, uh, I, I need to get off. I need to get off because I don't feel very good. Um, did you, did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face, sad face on TikTok. I just want to say I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, make sure you're following me on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed on, I'm sorry. Make sure you're following me on TikTok. Make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. Also, you guys should subscribe to YouTube because this live replay has been recorded. It will be up tomorrow at some point on YouTube. So if you missed anything or you want to rewatch, the stories are also going to be chaptered, so bookmarked so you can like, easily get to them. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. It is Tessica Vision, same name as here. Amy, thank you so much. Um, 
If you have stories that you want to send for future videos or future lives or anything, you can send them to antimatrix at gmail.com. Um, please make sure that you join the Discord as well. We have over 1,500 people in our Discord. You can hang out with like-minded individuals and you can also get announcements from me. There's an announcements channel where I will at everybody and tell you when I'm going live, when I'm posting a YouTube video, when I'm dropping new merch and all kinds of things like that and some announcements from me. Um, it's a good place to be. So please hang out and join there. Um, YouTube, Chris is putting all the links to all my things here for you so you can click there. TikTok, if you click on the link in my bio, all my links are there for everything. Uh, yes, so join the Discord. Um, what else, what else? I have merch, check check out my merch if you'd like some Anti-Matrix merch. Um, I have a PO box if you wanna send me anything. And I think that's it for now, right? Just thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for voting. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking, liking and liking and playing and hanging out and sending me your stories. Thank you for being you. And I love you all so, so much. I will probably be on either tomorrow or Sunday or both. Tomorrow, which is Thursday, and Sunday are the two days I will possibly be on. I'm not sure which one, either of them, neither of them, both of them. I'm not sure. Um, I love you guys so much. I love you. I love you. Mwah, mwah. Good night, all my friends. Good night. You guys are awesome.